my gosh, this, uh, sorry for the light. Oops. <laughs> oh, this was why I wanted noise suppression. So I was having some mic trouble before starting the stream, uh, because I got a new mic. Yeah, it's a really nice mic. And unfortunately, you cannot tell because I'm using my old settings that I used for my old mic to make it sound good. But I forgot I used these settings it was because uh, most of the time... Oops, let me uh, check if my mic is actually capturing well. But, um, yeah, I, um... I had so much trouble getting this, this mic to work, and I remember the... The day I got it, I was like, okay, I'm going to set this mic up, making sure that I will not have to fiddle right before stream, uh, that it'll work. And it did work during that day. And then, for some reason, the settings didn't work. <laughs> and then I, um, uh, I guess it was like it disconnected, so it resetted all my settings. So I had to reset it, and for some reason it couldn't catch high-pitched voices, I would say, call like, my goodness and stuff like that so i wouldn't be able to capture it and i have added some gain so that uh you don't have to put the volume at full blast anymore so i figured out how to do that so that's awesome uh hopefully your ears won't get blasted <laughs> yeah so i don't want uh it looks like it's a lot higher than the test the 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 gain but yeah a new mic. My arm, the mic arm I'm getting is coming out today, later after stream. So I'm super excited. Then, like, um, the mic will be able to be closer to me so I don't have to worry about um, it not being able to capture my voice. But I think it doesn't need to be that close. It's a, it's a pretty good mic, but I think it still captures everything, even though I'm like, was testing around like around so that it wouldn't capture my keyboard. I think it's still captured. Can I? No, it does not. <gasps> yeah. So yeah, I was uh trying to uh like get all that all that fixed out. Oh yeah, we have uh what's his name? Lloyd's uh sister. Kind of like sister with us right now. And we're able to, like, navigate around. Visitor and outpatient lodging. Speak with the superintendent prior to use of rooms. Alright, I wonder if we get special dialogue. Let me get slower. <laughs> it's like, this isn't the speed I'm used to. The men should be out of their rooms by now. I'm pretty sure most of them are working over it at either the hospital or the research ward. Look at that 2D... 2D glass. I think I mentioned that before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are gonna be important later. First I thought I saw a person there. Alright, and I'm pretty sure I saw stairs. Nobody here. Nope. I wonder what we were supposed to do. I kind of forget. Hello, hello! Yes, I am very, very late. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to stream an hour and 30 minutes ago, but... <laughs> What's happening here? Look out, it's gonna blow! <laughs> what kind of dream is that? Jean Ursuline is always rushed out on her feet, day in and day out. We should let her uh, squeeze in a bit of sleep, Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, can I go here now? Oh, I can! Yeah, I thought stream was canceled. Oh no, I didn't mean it wasn't canceled. It was just I had mic trouble. I also got a new um, uh, arm for my phone. So now my cat is not going to walk in front of my phone anymore so it could be directly in front of my face now, which is awesome. Hmm. Is this where the victim of was a taxi cell? Oh, wait. It's voice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
被害者の話を聞いておきたい後で案内してくれるかな分かったわ被害に遭った研修医の人は2階の病室にいるから案内するわねうんよろしくよろしくこの病室だけど他の患者さんもいるからあまりうるさくしないでね。So, ああ、大丈夫。話を聞かせてもらうだけだよ。<笑>それじゃあ入りましょう。うん。経過は良好なんだ、ね。Oh, That's good. No more cat scuff. Yeah, no more like, wow! Look at me. Although,、uh, my cat is actually laying on my desk right now. She、uh, is still here. <laughs> so, I don't know if you're gonna hear sounds from her and、uh, from the mic. Because this mic is too good. It's kind of scary. <laughs> I had to put a lot of noise suppression, and it was actually thinking my voice was noise too. And I was like, no, my voice is not noise. And sometimes I unconsciously go high pitch and it really cancels out my, my voice when it does that. I don't think the noise suppression is that great on this, for this mic because if I put any more、uh, noise suppression, you can't hear my voice anymore. And if I put the noise suppression light, you can hear my voice, but you're gonna hear all the noise around me. So it's like, it's a lose lose situation. So I much rather you guys hear my voice. Uh, then hear the, the stuff around the room, like clacky keys and stuff like that. But like, take what I can get. And I really wanted to show off how crisp this mic is, but、uh, with all the filters put on top so that you couldn't hear the noise, you can't hear how crisp it is anymore. It sounds like my old mic. <laughs> and that's funny. <laughs> 本当ですかああ嘘は言わないよ<笑>退院したら覚悟するといい君にやってもらう仕事を山ほど用意してあるからねちょ、弱ひむ先生病み上がりの人間にそんな戦士だよな列勝と打撲と捻挫くらいで情けないことを言いなさんな I love how over the top his voice was. He's like, Hon Sensei! <laughs> Hon Toka! <ga." laughs> You'll be fine in no time. Yakuni Shikotama Yasunde, Tayoka Aria Matter Daro. Mm. Imama de Ijoni, Bari Bari to Hataraka Daro, sir. Sensei, the Yoku S. The Yuare Masenka? Mm. 僕としては M の方だと思うんだけどね。He's a masochist. Yeah, it's,、uh, it wasn't just you thinking I sound the same. I thought I sound the same after putting this filter, and I was like,、oh. I wanted to use the without the filters on. Like, well, not without. I did want to add the OBS filters because the OBS filters are really nice, and I would sound super crisp. Like, it would be like, yeah. But I think this is fine. Um, yeah. Whoa, Nan no Hanasio Sterun Deska. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sensino Sa. Oh, Taritomo. Hokano Kanja Samo Irun Deskara. A Marie Henna Hanasio Stara Damedisio. Kodomo Gakita Rado Sterun Deska. Sumi Mose. <laughs> まいったなおやそちらの方々はクロスベル警察の方ですその例の事件についてリットンさんから直接お話を聞きたいそうですあっなるほどそういうことか Hopefully the game is being able to be heard okay? となると僕はここで退散した方が良さそうだね。他の病室を改心してくれよ。お疲れ様です。サボったらダメですよ。水辺の方で釣りとか。あ、ah,、he's a fisherman, a fisherman in arms。聞く
いやいや、めっそうもない。それじゃあ失礼。And here he goes fishing. えっと、今の人はヨアヒム先生と言って、準教授をされている方よ。とても優秀な先生なんだけど、少し趣味人すぎるというか。それで、リトンさん、お時間をいただいても大丈夫ですかあ、うん。それは構わないですけどでもどうしてクロスベル警察の人が警備隊が調べていたんじゃなかったのかいそれが警備隊の方でも手詰まりになったらしくて自分たちも捜査協力をすることになったんですそうなのかああオッケーうーんやっぱり僕が夢を見たとか思われてるのかなそれとも無遊病いやいやいやそんなわけが。I'm gonna see if I could fix my, my stand a little bit. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I noticed like my mouth wasn't moving as much as it usually does. Maybe because I don't have enough light on my face. Alright. Ah. Okay. Maybe they figured out the worst possible episode of sleepwalking. Now I know that can't be it. So, no, they get about a damn it. You can say they did a camasenka. He should come by no yoda. Okita cotoni tweet. Ah, ah, so dana. Areva can shoot report or Kakiageta, Shinya no cotodata. So no can shoot report to you noga. 気難しいことで有名なラゴー教授の指導研修のものでさもう全神経を集中する勢いで徹夜で書き上げたもんだから正直意識は朦朧としてたんだ意識は朦朧としてるんだけどなんかハイになってるっていうかそんな状態で夜風に当たっているとその声が聞こえてきたんだ This... The wolf inside of him. Oh, wait, those are like horse dogs. So he actually seen them. Everybody else just saw the paw prints area, like made assumptions, but he actually saw them. So 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 he a c t u a はっきりとは見てないのかいや恥ずかしながらショックで気絶したらしくてね真っ赤に光る目と白い牙それと黒っぽい毛並みくらいしか覚えていないんだよただ警備隊も確認してたけど狼っぽいと言われたらそうだと思うなるほどその傷の方はどうだったんですかうん右肩のところに牙で噛まれたような跡はあった逆にそれ以外の怪我は打撲とか捻挫とかくらいでね多分噛みつかれた後そのまま床に引き倒されたと思うんだけどなぜか魔獣はそれ以上あなたを襲わなかったつまりそういうことですねそうそうそうなんだ本当なら食いちぎられてもおかしくないところなのに Yeah, why, why weren't you torn to pieces? Oh, my can you bash on a Okujo? No, more cave it. I know Tony Mo, who sank side made a mirage at the Zah. She might know a Yonaka Fura Fura Kaido Nidete, Majuni Osuare Tanja Naikate, Tagare Shimats that tail. Demo, Hanata have gained Saretanoa. Conata demono, no, Kujo desione. Osuare Taponic de Okujo made a nigate Karakizetsta. その可能性はゼロじゃないかもなそそれはさすがに無理があるんじゃもうリットンさん襲われたあなたがそんな自信のないことでどうするんですかあいやそのすみませんでもね説明がつかないことをそのままにするのも嫌じゃないだったら自分の記憶が曖昧になってるって考えた方が気が楽っていうか。Oh, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> Hi, Haku. Hello, hello. というか
もし本当に魔獣が屋上なんかに現れたんだとしたら Yes, unfortunately, you can't tell the, the mic. It, there's a different mic because I am using NVIDIA broadcasts for the noise suppression and it's making it sound like how my old mic sounded because I use NVIDIA broadcasts from the old one and it puts a ton of filters and it kind of took off the crispness. If I were to show you how it's supposed to sound, let me see if I could grab it real quick. You're going to hear everything though, but let me、uh, show what it sounds like. All right, here it is. This is what the new mic sounds like without NVIDIA broadcast. It's like super crisp. Wow, crispy mic. But yeah, it captures everything. You could hear when I, I type. I don't know if I have the noise suppression. I don't think I have noise suppression on right now for. Because you could probably hear my clicking, right? Yeah, you could definitely hear my clicking. It sounds the same. Wait, really? It sounds the same? No way! Are you saying that my old mic was just as good? Isn't it always. Wait, really? Wait, what? I, I was testing earlier. You hear the clicking? Alright, can you hear clicking now? Could you, were you able to hear the clicking? Yeah, there, there we go. I put on the filter on to. I went back on NVIDIA and I sound like my old mic, but this is still my new mic, but with the old filters that I had. But, yep. And if I try to type on the keyboard, I don't think you could hear it, right? Right? Or is it only when I'm talking? I don't know. <laughs> so you spent that much, so you can all. Only... <laughs> no! <laughs> I spent more money for a new mic because I wanted to sound more crispy into my uh, unfortunate uh, findings is that the new mic is too good and <laughs> I,、um, it, could, it hears everything. So I had to use the old filters and it made it sound like my old mic again. And、uh, because if I try to go through the noise suppression with the new mic, It actually cuts off when I talk high pitch. So I was like, I want you guys to be able to hear everything I say. I don't want everything to be cut off. So yeah, I, I went to the old setting. My friends were like, don't do it, don't do it. It's better to have like little clacky noise than <laughs> having to go back to NVIDIA. And I'm like, but I don't want you guys to hear background noise. <laughs> You, you could hear the typing? No way. You were able to hear the typing? No way. Maybe it's only when I'm talking. Type again? Alright, I'll type again. Were you able to hear that? Oops. I think it, it only. No sound this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think you could only hear it when I'm talking. And when I'm not talking, you can't hear it. So, if I'm talking while typing, you could probably hear it, right? When I'm talking, when I'm talking, and then when I'm stop talking. Is that how it is? Ah, okay. So, it's kind of. It kind of opens up the valve. When I'm talking, and then it closes it when I stop talking. Seems like it, yeah. Well,、uh, you're not gonna be happy how much I, how much the price difference between my old and new mic is. <laughs> hey, wouldn't it just be worse if it was true that monsters could suddenly appear on the roof? <laughs> Never goes, oh no. All I can say is a $100 difference. Okay, that's actually saying it's gonna make、uh, an artificial like, assumption, but. <laughs> is, it a day is it day six? Oh my gosh, wait a second. Let me check.
when was the last oh god i think i accidentally mixed up the days uh do 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 what day is it oh <gasps> you're right it is day six oh god whoops it is day six let me fix that there we go thank you so much oh my gosh you paid better attention to me <laughs> i was in a rush to uh push this out and i didn't double check um on um just twitch to see which number i was on i thought it was five two okay nightmare you and me both <laughs> Wait, did I? I put... I entered it, right? I gotta... I'm double-checking. Wish ah. uh, got my back. If you actually were attacked on the roof, we need to make sure what doesn't happen to anyone else ever again. ご協力ありがとうございました。自分たちの方でも襲われた現場を調べてみます。ああ、よろしく頼むよ。ちゃんとした説明がついて対策できるんだったら、それに越したことはないからね。Well, nice. And yeah, uh, I guess like for future plans, um, I, since I am currently working on the new outfit and stuff, it's gonna take quite a bit, but I have already prepped. Ah, uh, I'm just so excited for the future stuff. Because, <laughs> uh, it's gonna completely change everything of the old layout to a new layout. So that you guys can actually see it, rather than me just seeing it myself, like, with the new mic and the new phone stand kind of stuff. Uh, you guys get to see- oops, you guys get to enjoy and see everything. Alright, what do you guys say, neighbor? Who, who the heck was that doctor with the glasses? He was talking about medical procedures when all of a sudden he started rambling about sadism and masochism. I'm very sorry that Dr. Gwainter is a unique individual. I believe unique is too lenient of an adjective in his case. God, what? Huh? It's my imagination? I mean, that would mean much less frightening option, but... Does that explain my injuries? While he may be a resident, strictly speaking, it's still rather strange to see a doctor hospitalized here among the rest of us late. I wonder if this is what you call not practicing what you preach. Oh yeah, there was a Dr. Ursula that was like, stuck. <laughs> She's stuck in bed. Ah, first go to the hospital. セシルね、時間の方は大丈夫そうね。そろそろ休憩時間が終わっちゃうかも。でも、せめてリッドさんが発見された場所までは案内するわ。うん。よろしく頼むよ。はい。お。お、よくアクチュアリーデュダイ。
We're here to investigate Lighten's attack. Oh, that. Wait, hmm? Could this be the Lloyd that Cecil's always talking about? <laughs> well, good luck. We'll be reading. I'll be reading for you. What was that delayed reaction just now? This girl got the hots for Lloyd. Oh, there's a doctor. No one from my family has come to visit me yet. It's been days. Oh, I want to see my granddaughter. I don't know what's keeping them, but she, clearly my son's family lacks basic human com compassion. Clearly. Must be a pretty deplorable bunch to leave you here in the dust. Well, anyway, you have enough energy to rant. I think you'll be discharged soon. You'll see that grand kid of yours before you know it. By the way, want some candy? I'm sure it'll help calm you down. Smother the fire, if you will. You know who understands my woes, Doctor. He's such an unorthodox doctor! Oh, I just want to see my granddaughter. You got something to say? Oh, that old lady keeps complaining about how no one's come to see her here at the hospital. It never ends. I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up with some kind of secondhand depression from her constant pity partying. Does the doctor have something to say? You know, it's been said that sickness and health begin with the mind. If she stays this energetic, I bet we'll be able to discharge her in no time. At least try to sound a little bit more professional, Dr. Gwinter. Okay, so we just go to the second floor. Uh, what's here? Oh! Hello, Cecil. Guiding visitors, are we? Well, sort of. Cecil explains uh, the details behind the special support section's visit to the nurse administrator. Very well. If that's the case, you are free to show them around and assist them if need be. The special support section, hmm? Good luck with that investigation of yours. Th thank you, ma'am. This woman's coming off as intense in a way that I can't even parse. Well, let me get this straight. You spilled a bunch of tomato soup on Mr. Gamble's bed sheets yesterday. Yup! Sca that scared me for sure. One of the passing doctors mistook it for a massive hemorrhage and passed out, so maybe it scared him a bit more. You're unbelievable. Well, at least those sheets are on its way to the wash without any further mishaps. Now, go take some new bed sheets to Mr. Gamble and apologize, okay? Like, with as much sincerity as you can muster. Aww, seriously? I don't like the guy nearly enough for that. No complaining, go. Do they have individual things to say? Tyrone has a knack for making things absolutely mind-blowing mistakes, forcing us to pick up after her. And despite all that, she's somehow incredibly popular with the patients. It baffles me. I mean, they love a klutz. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Mayfa is such a fussy pants. I have to check on Mr. Gamble later. See how he's doing and all that. I guess we'll see Mr. Gamble in the future. That's the elevator. Mine in room, employees only. Nobody here? So, how are you feeling today? Okay, everything's the same as always. What's wrong? You're missing that smile of yours. Hi, Chikaru! Thank you! <laughs> oh my gosh, you got Tulip's emotes! You know Tulip! Nothing's wrong. She must be in the middle of a checkup. I would like to ask her some questions regarding the incident, but it can wait. What's up here? Oh! This is like the rooftop. Well. <laughs> 
そこのベンチの前あたりで倒れていたらしいわねそうかその建物は確か研究棟だったっけええ先生方と研修医の人が集めている場所よ実験用に何か危険な魔獣を飼っているようなことは<笑>それはさすがにないわね研究用の植物を育てている温室みたいな場所はあるけどなるほどセシルね案内ありがとうとりあえず何かわかるまで一通り調べてみるようんかったわ Always happy to help Yeah, I'm doing good. So, I'm doing good. How are you? Be sure to turn over every little stone you can. We have a song in no time. Look forward to the good news. To the eyes, Okujo, Chushini, Hitotori, Chosa, or Stenio, O Kamigata Maju Tachiga. 本当に屋上に現れたその前提で侵入ポイントを何とか突き止めてみたいええ、分かったわイートンハイ Yes, you are here in time because I just started All good here too Just enjoying some free time before I gotta go to work I hope you have good day Yeah I hope you have a good day at work I know sometimes work can be pretty stressful but You have a good day, it makes the day go by faster. Ah,、oh, your mic volume is better now. Yeah, I was able to fix、uh, the gain on it. So I guess that's one good perk with this mic. Uh, how is the game going? I'm new to this one. Ooh, this game series is so good. I am super invested. <laughs> I would highly recommend this to、uh, people who like、um, deep lore. If you like deep lore, the, each game intertwines with another game. So you actually have to start from the very beginning, which is called Trails in the Sky. One, two, and three. And this is the fourth game in the series, which is Trails from Zero. And then the fifth one is Trails from Azure. The sixth game is Trails of Cold Steel One. And then it goes like Trails of Cold Steel One, Two, Three, Four, which I think that is the ninth game. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, it's the ninth game in the series. And then there's Trails from Reverie.、Uh, Reverie? Yeah, it's Trails from Reverie, is the tenth game. So, I, am, I started from the beginning and now I am on the fourth game right now. <laughs> But you get to see reoccurring characters. Have you been playing through all of them? If so, I'm a little late to the party. <laughs> I think you could still enjoy the series even if you're in the. Like,、uh, I think it would be too late if you were like, going through like, trilogies or quadrilogies. I don't know, the quad ones, because it's a continuation of their story. But the only thing you,、uh, you need to know is like the world, what are bracers, what are,、um, what are the countries, kind of thing, what relationships they have. And then you appreciate like character cameos from past games. And they become party members, kind of thing. Or they would just like cameo pretty much. Sometimes you would see villains from past games, and they will be regular pedestrians, and they won't like. Be a villain here. They're just like, this is my home. I live here. <laughs>、uh, I was fighting for my country, and you're living in that country. So, like,、um, when you start off, you're in, I forget what the, the country's called. It was like Elysium, or I don't remember. It was,、um, it was like something Empire for the first game. This one is based off a, a city called Crossville City. Next one is in a country called Erebonia, which is like a powerhouse country with advanced technology. Um, I've only played Cold Steel and I didn't have much issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to have much issue. I think you just appreciate more details if you played from the beginning. But、um, of course, with Cold Steel, you have to start with the first game because it's an introduction of the main character. And it's like, 
continues on from there. But um, if you want to appreciate every single detail, I would say start from the beginning of Trails from the Sky. One and two are good without playing the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you say one and two, are you saying uh, Trails of Cold Steel one and two are good without having to play the other games? Because I agree with you. Because I did play a bit of Cold Steel one. Yeah, yeah. But I think Trails from Reverie, you have to play the past games. Because Reverie, your entire party is the characters from all the games before it. Your entire party. All the characters. There's no new character. I think there's only a few new characters, but most of them, most of your party members are the past games. It's like kind of like um, a Marvel, like, what is it? What did they call that the part in Marvel where they were having all the superheroes appear together and fight together? Cold Steel 3 and 4 is where you need to play the other games in order to enjoy I see. Yeah. Yeah, because I know like in Cold Steel 1, you actually see one of the major villains from uh, Trails in the Sky 2. At that point, just make it a Fire and Flame game. That pretty much. <laughs> Pretty cool. That's so cool. I love throwbacks to previous characters and game stories. Yeah, me too. I know with Tales series, you do not have to play the past games. They do throw them as extra boss fights, but that's only for New Game Plus. So really your experience is not gonna be matter from past games. It's just more of appreciation. Meanwhile here, it's it actually matters because you're gonna see them in the main story in the game. They actually have an influence in the game. Crossovers, the uh, the word you're looking for. Yeah, I think it was called Endgame. I don't know. It was like it was like Marvel Endgame or something. I don't remember. <laughs> it was like uh, when they were all fighting Thanos, pretty much. But that's basically Trails from Reverie. It's basically all the heroes from the past games come together to fight together on the big evil bad because it's finally revealed of who is the big evil because <laughs> we've been only talked about it in the past games like i've only finished trails in the sky one two and three so i've only been briefed of what her big evil villain is but we never seen the boss and finally the boss is revealed in trails of Rev to see what they actually look like and it's like the big fight yeah, Infinity War, that's the word. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's Infinity War Endgame. Yeah. So basically, it's basically, <laughs> basically, basically, Infinity War Endgame in um, Trails of Reverie. And it's, uh, I heard it's like 75% done. The entire Trails story, 75% done. They are working on, they already released two other games after Reverie. That's in Japan, and it was like one and two. I can't read what it is, but um, it's already been out in Japan and it's gonna be translated soon. I'm super excited. The graphics look amazing, honestly. Like, um, I don't know if anybody has seen my YS9 stream, but it looks better than that. <laughs> it looks amazing. I would probably compare it. I don't know if I would compare it to T Tales of Arise though. I think Tales of Arise is higher but still, it's really high quality. This leads to the research ward, right? Right. What's the plan, Lloyd? Should we go and get, go in and get the staff statements? Hmm, let's hold off of it on anything like that. I think we ought to investigate where the incident took place first. Let's give the roof a quick sweep to see if we can find any clues. All right, we're going to have to find out how to get to the roof. What's this? ねえ、ここから入ってきたというのは。うーん。いかにも魔獣が入ってきそうな地形だけど、それでもやっぱり高さがネックになりそうだ。Still too high, I see. We don't want to go back inside yet. Let's keep the search up for a bit longer. Who knows what might turn up? The monsters actually appeared on the roof. There should be evidence of substantiating that claim somewhere up here. Alright, we're gonna find that. We're gonna- wait, what is this? <gasps> That's true! 
Not once, but twice. I see. So I guess that's not good enough. Huh? Definitely. あ、下は水面だしね。狼型の魔獣だったら、よじ登るのも無理だろうな。Really ここはねえ、ここからだったら入ってこられそうじゃない確かに飛び移ってこれない高さじゃないなとなるとここ。Oh, it's letting us go over check downstairs. Let's see. Over here, The tops of the boxes are covered in dust and strange markings. Upon the further investigation, it's clear that they are paw print. Bingo, da na. Bingo, da. Ah, Maju no Asiato. それも狼型のやつだろう。やっぱり。となると。あちらの方から侵入された可能性が高そうですね。ああ、多分そうだろう。見たところそっちはそれほど高さがなさそうだ。また入られちまわないよう。何か対策をした方がいいかもな。そう
Alright, so we just go to the desk downstairs. There's something here. Miss Cecil went out of her way to check on me just now, even though I didn't call for her. I hope she's caring as she is someday. I hope I am as caring as she is. Hey guys, how'd the search go? Well, I'd say there were several loose ends to tie up, but we managed to find evidence proving that the monsters were up there. Whoa! Is it seriously? I guess it wasn't a dream after all. Ah, oh, thank you. Just knowing that I'm not crazy is enough for me. My pleasure, Lightning. Now, should we go report our findings to Cecil? I'm sure the nurse's station would know where she's at. Why not try checking there first? Do you have something else to say? If you're looking for that gorgeous nurse, she hasn't been around here for a while. It makes the seconds drag on that much longer. I've been dreadfully- it's been dreadfully loud for a while now. Can't you pipe down already? Oh, this guy is trying to sleep. Oh,お疲れ様です。調査の方はいかがですか？はい。一通り修了しました。それでセシルね、あいや。セシルさんに報告しようと思いまして。ああ、そうだったんですか。え、それにしてもセシル先輩から聞いていた通りだったな。ね。いつもロイド君の話を聞かされてたんですよ。最近クロスベルに帰ってきたってセシル先輩ず
代わりに週末は私が付き合う。で、ディアンポイントポイント。これでも白衣の天使と言えなくもないだろうしね。い,いやあ、さすがに恐れ多いですから。タッチだ、ロイド。大変。はあ、まったく。すみません。He has polite boy energy. Ha ha. Ma, in sa. So, the day, so, so, a mo, e no kai. Cecil, or your boat, or stay, tami, tai, danga. Hi. Stotori, shurio, shmasta. So, the day, Ixka, ham, me, stano, de. Kanoji, ni, ho, kok, shio, to, moi, masta. So, you want to give a rundown of everything? Cecil, a kono, jikan, da, to, tashka. Randy goes, kek, wait. <laughs> This should be checking in on that girl. What girl? I don't know what girl they're talking about. I don't think it's necessary to intercom to page her over. Wait, are we going to figure out who this girl is? And who is this girl? I wonder if it's someone we knew in the past or if it's going to be someone we know in this game. When I say pass, like pass games. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that room. She was like talking to somebody, and they were like, "Haha, you're so funny." Special circumstances. I guess I don't know this girl. If she has a portrait, she is important. If she has a portrait, she is important. なるほど、わかりました。適当に遊んであげりゃいいってことっすよね。まあそういうことさね。それじゃあよろしく頼むよ。はい。Right. Let's go through the elevator. Wait. Let me up. Up, up. Right, it should be this one, right? あ。I don't know this girl. <laughs> I don't know who this little girl is. Oh, she's important. <laughs> is she blind? Oh, she was blind. Yeah, she is. I figured. I feel like she'll be final boss important. <laughs> they always like to make the little girls evil. <laughs> I can see this girl as being evil and being final boss and go like, Whoa, this girl got a scythe and she murdered mass millions of people? <laughs> Shizoku sounds like an evil name to me. Se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se-se
a mess. She's like, oh yes, I am skilled with the blade because my father is top bracer, so I'm top, um, sword master. Ito's like, I ain't saying anything. <laughs> of course, I cannot ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> she definitely looks like a character that's gonna die. <laughs> ありがとうございます。静くちゃんはお父さん子供のね。そのくせお父さんが訪ねても遠慮してあんまり甘えないし。よっ。お父さん大好きとか言って抱きついちゃえばいいのに。I love you, father. <laughs> そういえば、例の件なんだけど、実はここにいる静くちゃんが気づいたことがあるらしくって。気づいたこと？えっと、そのリットンさんが襲われた晩のことなんだけど。I'm guessing she's blind. 私眠れなかったから展示の本を読んでいて。Oh, yep, she's Blind. She's reading braille books. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Is she the one that's summoning the wolves? I don't know. No, it can't be. It, she must be something else in the future. それ以上悲鳴は聞こえなくて。代わりに、はっはっはって、息遣いみたいな音が聞こえて、しばらくしたら、タンタンって何か跳ねるような音が聞こえて。She has very good hearing to be able to make up all that, make out all that, yeah. その私ずっと夢でも見たのかと思ってて。さっき摂取さんから話を聞いて初めてそのことだって気づいて。ごめんなさい。もっと早く日テレバ。いや、いいんだよ。ありがとう。教えてくれて。しかし屋上での調査を
I would think this kind of trope was very common about like someone being able to control them they were whistling the like animals 2008 thank you wow this came out pretty late for the graphics to look like this because there's even trails up from azor and it it's the same graphics <laughs> see so you're ready to hear a report i think our investigation here has helped make the truth a little bit clear you can count on All the going to actually said was Arigato, which just means thank you. And then the English just changes that. We'll definitely come visit again, okay? I just realized Cecil's calves are huge. Lord, those calves. She lost her eyesight in an accident several years ago. So her sight can re- Oh, her sight can return. You know what? She could probably look- I, I feel a bad, ominous feeling when she gets her sight back. It's very ominous. Because right now she's a sweet little girl right now, but I feel... Oh, they are monk Omega. Oh my gosh, it's getting better. めったに会えずに寂しいでしょうに。あなたたちも良かったら今後とも仲良くしてあげてね。なあ、喜んで。そうですね。とっても良い子みたいですし、ですね。俺の素敵トークで、あの子を笑顔にしてやりますよ。
Oh, yeah, they do. They do. They all have that angry expression. <laughs> See if we have something amongst our outdoor equipment that would work. Fanfic writers, write this down, yes! Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, I remember someone asked if Lloyd swings the other way. Like, if he, if Randy was Lloyd's lover. <laughs> and Lloyd's like, no, I don't swing that way. But I'm like, I wonder if that's foreshadowing that they're accidentally going to be together. <laughs> because if he cross-dresses as Cecil. The <laughs> Smiling! I got my answer! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited! I ship them lol. I don't swing that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Striker! Oh my gosh! It's nice to see you! Is this the afternoon or the past? Oh, this is the afternoon. God, I can't unsee it. I can't unsee. Thank you, thank you to all everyone at the hospital. Can be worry free. Striker X V E has descended to the underworld. Thank you so much for the sub, Striker. I hope you enjoy the emote. Yeah, that's Wait, don't say this is the end. We gotta find out who's the one that's whistling. <gasps> Thank you for the sub, Jikaro. Jikiro has descended to the underworld. <laughs> Thank you so much! I hope you enjoy the emotes as well! <laughs> yes, the smug and the pog. Mm-hmm.それがなかったら、きちんとした対策も取れずに、そのままだったところだもの。あなたたちだったら、いずれアリオスさんにも負けないくらい、いい仕事ができると思うわ。I hope so. I hope you end up in the front page like as much as Adios. He's so excited, but his face is like deadpan. Like, you don't know. You don't know if I'm like happy or not, but he's like, I'm so happy. Thank <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. What is that sound? I just heard. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick look because I don't know if the cat accidentally escaped from the room and is trying to get back in. So I will make a quick look. It feels so good. Everything is so easy to take and grab. Oh, just having my phone really close instead of having to reach over and then reposition. It's like right in front of my face. Go like, yeah, click, click. Nice. And then just a tap away to mute the mic. Wow. This setup so nice. <laughs> I was just so happy. I feel like it was a good investment, even though like you can't tell a difference with this mic. It feels like my life is so much easier. <laughs> Alright, let's take some time off. Let's meet up, okay? <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I'm sure. I think Lloyd's gonna end up with Ellie. <laughs> I'm 
その時は連絡してね<笑>そういったジャンルを読んでバッチリ鍛えておくからどんなジャンルだよ Cecil Sanga, you're going to get it. She probably supports it. I know. If it makes me so happy, I don't mind giving it a try. <gasps> Randy's like, I'm, I'm willing to go all the homo for you. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? Hmm, that's a good question. It's between Randy and Lloyd. I like those two a lot. <laughs> no, keep. Yeah, come on, yo. それじゃあ私はここで失礼しちゃおうかなみんな気をつけて帰ってねうん<笑> Randy was like if, if Lloyd crossed just was just like you know what I wouldn't mind <laughs> if you look like this and Lloyd's like I do mind just accept it Lloyd Randy has good hair he does he's so funny he brightens up this, this game a lot お世話になりました I love that Randy is so flexible. <laughs> It's like if I get the approval of C, so I don't mind dating you, Lloyd. Ellie, <laughs> are you describing Cecil or Randy? <laughs> Just accept it, Lloyd. You're a very nice person. そう言ってもらえると嬉しいよ。実の姉さん以上に世話になってきた人だからさ。それでロイドさん、セシルさんとは実際にはどういうご関係なんですか？ Isn't it like someone that's like a very close friend to the point that you treat each other like sibling? え？そうね。ちょっとだけ気になるわね。あなたいつにもまして弟くんって雰囲気だったし。Wait, what? Na, nanda sorry. Are you they saying that they think Cecil and Lloyd are in love? Lloyd, oh. <laughs> Randy's not so. I've never seen the spray from Randy. Anna sticky na one san to beta beta ama ama na kanke te ka? Ugayamashi! Karada o kongan shi kudasai! If only, if the, only this type of world would allow that, where they would switch bodies. できないから、バカなこと言ってないで。そろそろクロスベルシに戻ろう。もう夕方だし、帰ったら今日の分の調書をちゃんとまとめておかないと。ごまかしましたね。ダージストクエスチョン。え、それもロコツに。おのれロイ
I could have sworn that Chief Ursuline would have been late today, but lo and behold, she somehow made it to work on time. Certainly one to mark on the calendar with all the all-nighters she pulls up for the research. She's hardly ever punctual. I need to check up on her. Where is she? Where is this woman? <clears throat> I need to see her. I was all wrapped up for cleaning for the day, and then I noticed this nasty little speck of dust. And I just had to do another round. This is the woman's dormitory, after all. I've got to keep it perfectly spick and span for all the hardworking ladies. Is there anyone here? Anyone here? Oh, wait. Not here. There should be... <gasps> Ursula's not here anymore! Wait. Ursula's not here anymore. Hmm. Prettiest sunset I've ever seen. Nice and refreshing. Oh, is, is this is this a girl that was on the desk in the other room? Oh, no, no, I got to know the sheets. It's the clumsy nurse. It's the clumsy nurse that spilled tomato soup on Mr. Gable. Salute. <laughs> Quick, Cersei, Cerone, what will you do if Mafia finds out? She's gonna lose her mind. Alright, is there something here? There's no reason to enter it for now. I guess we enter it later. I just want to make sure. <clears throat> oh, I didn't notice you. Let's see here. I have some time before things get real serious. Though I could go fishing. Though I'd rather not get caught by Ms. Dr. Lago down the first floor, which cuts my viable exit points down to zero. Ugh, such a cruel world we live in. Fine. I'll give up for today and hole up in my lab. This doctor has a few screws loose. After I lost my eyesight, my ears adapted and became very sensitive. Now, once I hear something, I can always recognize it. However, I still don't know exactly what that weird whistling from before was. I'm sorry, that probably doesn't help you at all, does it? I disagree. We may not know how relevant that sound may be. The more information we have, the higher our chances of success are. Also, we were able to find some new clues too, thanks to your sharp ears. Personally, I think the whistling will end up being crucial to our investigation. Really? Well, I'm glad to hear that. So the buffoons running this place put up a fence to keep the monsters out, did they? Oh ho ho, I'm glad they finally got it through their thick skulls. I'll be protected at all costs. Who is he? Who is this guy? <laughs> I need to coat my, my throat. It's feeling a little dry. Let me see if I can have a cracker. I'm gonna mute so that you don't hear like the little rustle sounds. who talks to me all the time about all sorts of stuff. Sometimes I wonder if it's like to not be able to see. I think it, it'll make you feel very alone sometimes. I agree. I think Shizuki doesn't want you to worry, but I would feel very sad. I'm heading down to room 202 now. There's a few more patients I have to check on. You are... Patience, right? You best head home before it gets dark. I mean, we're gonna see the culprit soon, right? 97.8 degrees. Everything looks normal. And next we have Lighten, I think. Can I talk to this man? Man, you end up having so much idle time on your hands as an impatient. That reminds me, Dr. Gwinter said, with luck, I could discharge tomorrow. I can't say I'm excited for it, though. Just thinking about all the paperwork that's piled up while I've been MIA has my head spin. Maybe I have to stay in bed a little longer. No, it's gonna make even more paperwork. This guy's silly. 
evening already? Well, when you sleep all day, you're not gonna see too much sun. Yup, I think... Do we see everything? Oh, there's some nurses. Oh, what's taking her? Cyrone, how is a human like possible to take this long to hang up some white bed sheets? Oh, don't tell me. Did she get them dirty again? Those things looking more spotless than the day they came in. Thanks to you, I don't think we'll have to worry about any more monsters intruding and causing a ruckus. On the behalf of the staff and the patients of St. Ursula Medical College, thank you. Lloyd, did you forget something? No, nothing like that, Cecil. I was just... Oh, could it be? Are you finally ready to break the news? Congratulations on your pregnancy! No, I'm kidding. So tell me out of Ellie, Tio, and Randy, who do you decide to date? You know full well that's not what I was going to talk about. <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot of people here. This is the lady that's complaining. My adorable granddaughter came to visit me, but I sent her back home before it got dark. Spending a little time with her cleared all the storm clouds away. Now I just have to keep my head up and work toward my recovery. That's good. That old lady correctly light up the room with how cheery she is now. <laughs> Remember before? <laughs> Answer the question, Lloyd. Who are you dating? Well, if I had a healthy attitude, really makes a difference. I ought to follow her lead. The sooner I get to start from here, the better. I banged up my knee, but considering how much I've improved today, the doctor said I might be able to leave soon. Woohoo! Can't wait to go home. Patient care has ended for the day. The roads are a get dangerous at night, so try to be quick if you're visiting someone, okay? Thank you for helping us set up the fence, officers. You're an incredible help. Hopefully this marks the end of monsters on St. Ursula grounds. I've heard that Dr. Gailey's son hangs out on the unsavory crowd. I really don't understand why since he has such an amazing father. Maybe because his father casts such a, a big shadow over him. So bright. Alright, so we pretty much saw everything here. Oh! The way the sunset reflects off Lake Elm is gorgeous, I'm telling you. The sight is so strong, it can make my any stress disappear. Well, enough of that. It's time for me to start preparing for tonight's watch. Heading back already? If you're returning to Crossbell City, I'd recommend you to wait at the bus stop right over there. No need to hurry, though. There will be more buses coming before the day ends. Oh, I can take the bus? Alright. さて、と。バスが来るのを待つとするか。時刻表によると。いや、it's それだけ市の方でも病院を重要視しているみたいね。財政的には余裕があるし、市民の要望も高いみたいだから。あ、プリシュー。なるほど。ま、気軽に病院に行けるのはやっぱりありがたいかもしれないな。Get There's the beach. Where you get all that fish. Whoa. We get a cutscene in here. きれいな夕暮れね。はい。なんだか目に痛いくらいです。しかし、動力車ってのは随分と楽ちんだよね。いや、それはね、私は初めて乗った車が使えるよかったんだが。is that insinuating we're getting a car in the future? ま、無理だろうな。他の捜査課では車が使われているみたいだけど。確か捜査一課では捜査員一人一人に専用車が用意されているはずです。
そうなのかそれはさすがに優遇しすぎだと思うけど。Wait a second. If I recall correctly, I believe that each first division detective has a private car. Does it count for us? Yare, yare. こういう時に日陰者は辛いね。I guess since we're SSS, we don't get it. まあ、ないものねだりをしたって仕方ないし。それに、街道を歩くのだって、結構な鍛錬にはなると思うぞ。Yeah, I think it's good training. 不本意ですが、そうかもしれませんね。It gives us some gameplay. Ah, no, could you a kitano calls on children? Saki my tayoni. Kyo a kaita a chosho, matomete, ashta. Yeah, we just have to report. Sasagani skareta monone kyo a. He was more exhausting than we were expecting. でもセシルさんよかったな<笑>よし今度は合コンにかこつけてこじラン元気だなあ、oh, Look how reflective those windows are <laughs> What? Has human eyes in that wolf. <laughs> Boyd and the others returned the SSS that night and began to compile, began compiling a report of today's investigation. The newly found evidence, uncertainties, and theories that were all discussed and organized for Sergei's convenience. And before they knew it, the clock had struck midnight. Once finished, they returned to their respective rooms exhausted and fell asleep. Wait, what? Isn't that Lloyd's brother? I don't know. Very. Yeah, I don't think he's going to go anywhere. Wait, didn't his brother die? Yeah, he did die. So, I'm going to go to Why does his brother sound like Randy? <laughs> his brother sounds like Randy. Is it implying? I can't imagine. <laughs> Lloyd's long lost brother is Randy. <laughs> He's ta he talks just like him, or unless it's just the confidence, but would be crazy. Maybe it's just the effect. Maybe he really did die because they did have a funeral for him. For two years, for all I care. How about forever? No. So so. Just I didn't know. Actually, this is a very deep meaning. I wrote a pop secret about it. Usan, crazy. I mean, I'm curious. What kind of secret is it? Oh, you're so kind of listening. Actually, a pretty cute girl is escorted. No, this guy is. <laughs> He reminds me too much of Randy. No way. I can't believe this. There's no way. I'm in charge of escorting this cute little girl back to her home. I was just saying the voice sounded like Randy and now he's talking like Randy? The girl and I are escaping to Remy Feria, a beautiful northern country. I'm not in saying that he is Randy. I'm just... It's a what if. <laughs> it's a what if. Go like, hmm. Because Randy also puts his hair in a ponytail. And he his hair is pretty long, but... And the filters can easily, like, make, make the color skewed here. And... 
Randy is, I think, 21 or 22. Yeah, I think Randy's 22. And Lloyd is 18. <laughs> I would think that Lloyd would be able to straight on recognize his own brother, so I don't think it's Randy. What are you gonna do if Cecil finds out about this? What does Cecil have to do with any of this? Is what his brother said. Are they... Does Cecil in love with Guy? あ、ていうか、セシルにはもうとっくに話してるんだが。な。うん。漫画妙なご会があるみたいだな。パビって言っても一応警察の出張の仕事だぞ。それにその子はまだ最近。Wait, what? Is only years old, you know. Oh, he was 12. 13. Okay, that's definitely not Randy. Because he definitely looked like he was like in his 20s that um guy was. So yeah. おう、起きてたか。朝食ってのはもうまとまってるのか。あ、はい。昨日の調査に関しては人通りまとまっている状態です。結構だ。とっとと。失礼します。そうにゃ、福祉で。やっぱ予想通りか。おはよう。お疲
これ以上は感化できるわけがないわ問題は3週間にわたって魔獣の正体が突き止められなかったことそして広範囲とはいえ実際の被害状況がそれほど深刻ではなかったことそれを理由に指令閣下からストップがかかったんですそうだったのかああそういえば紹介してなかったわね彼女はノエル総長おおサージェンメイジャーシークルまだ若いけど戦闘能力運転技術ともに優れていてね私の護衛やサポートをしてもらっているわノエルシーカーです改めてよろしくお願いしますこちらこそよろしくお願いしますあれシーカーってひょっとして警察本部の受付をしているフランさんのええ姉になりますいつも妹がお世話になっているみたいですね<笑>こちらこそ妹さんには世話になりっぱなしですよしかしなるほど君がノエル総長だったのか聞いてるぜタングラム門の女性隊員で期待のホープがいるってな<笑>自分の方もランディ先輩の名は伺ってますいろいろな伝説をお持ちのようで一度お会いしたいと思ってました<笑>そいつは光栄だねいろいろな伝説やはり女性関係ですか一番目目そうそう俺がいかに同僚の女性隊員にモテまくって男どもから戦望の眼差しようだな Do you know how fast she's talking? <laughs> you got me there the guys are always jealous of my skills with the ladies I mean I would too if I were in their shoes Like listen to how fast he talks そうそう俺がいかに同僚の女性隊員にモテまくって男どもから戦望の眼差しようだな<笑>まあ、社交辞令はそのくらいにするとして現状は伝えた通りちょっとまずい状況なの打開できる要素があるとしたらあなたたちの調査結果くらい正直わらにもすがる思いで様子を確かめに来たってわけなるほどでは聴取の提出と合わせて一通り説明させていただきますなるほどなどうだソニアうちの小僧どもの手際は期待以上ね新郎の言い伝えに病院屋上に現れたルートどうかしらノエル正直驚きましたやはり本職の捜査官は目の付けどころが違いますね目の付けどころというより発想法の違いでしょうねいやあオールイツジョン決めたわあなたたちには引き続き鉱山町方面の調査をお願いしますこの調子だと思いもよらぬ真実熱が見えてくるかもしれないええこちらはそのつもりでしたけど例の司令殿の命令を無視することにならないですか<笑>あなたたちへの要請まで取り下げろとは言われなかったもの魔獣の手がかりが判明次第すぐに行動に移れるようにするそれなら問題ないでしょなるほどね。なんだろう。さすがにやり手でいらっしゃいますね。それにどうも、魔獣たちに我々の動きを感づかれているらしいんです。大部隊で捜索するよりも、少人数で行動した方が、相手も隙を見せるかもしれない。それを期待したいところですね。なるほど。わかりました。とにかくこれから、鉱山町に足を運ぶつもりです。ええ、お願いするわね。何か分かったらタングラム門の副司令部に連絡してちょうだいそれじゃセルゲイ例の話はまた後日にするかああ了解したあんまり無理すんじゃねえぞ<笑>そちらこそノエル失礼しましょう Let's go seeker. はいそれでは失礼しますおお、oh, that I did not press anything that is a automatically So it's like, yes, ma'am, I'll be taking my leave. She sure is a busy woman. So, ne, so, so, ni, co, zan, cho, kara, te, shu, shta, bakari, mi, tai, da, shi. Ma, mono, na, jo, shi, ni, fri, ma, o, sa, le, te, le, mi, tai, da, kara, na. 
それでいて共和国方面への警戒もおろそかにできねえ相変わらず貧乏くじを引いてるぜなるほどそういえば課長と福司令ってお知り合いだったんですか何気に名前で呼び合ってましたけど。The two be do seem comfy. そういや、俺をここに推薦してくれたのも副司令だったんだよな。一体どういう関係なんすかま、昔なじみってやつだ。You started smoking. それよりもお前ら、昨日は大変だったらしいな。今日は鉱山町に行くみてえだが。また歩いていくつもりかよいや、昨日はそのいろさすがに今日はバスで行こうと思っていますけど。We intend to take the bus today whenever possible. あんだ、そうなのか。<笑>てっきり遊撃士あたりを見習ってんのかと思ったぜ。<笑>遊撃士を見習うどういうことっすか練習の習慣らしいが。まず手始めに自分の足だけで周辺地域を一通り回ってみるらしい。What? What's happening? I just saw my.、Uh... It's turned off, and so was my, my controller. I was like, oh, oh, not again! Not again! I can't go through this again! But luckily, everything came back on. スタミナもつくし、魔獣との実践経験も積めるし、何より土地勘が得られる。一石三鳥ってリクスらしいな。Three birds and one stone. Wait, what? Why? It's kind of a whole their initiation thing. They have genius braces toward the surrounding area on foot. That way, they build up stamina, pile up loads of combat experience, and most importantly, get the lay of the land. I see. Everything's okay, nightmare. なるほど。連中そんなことをしてんのか。もしかして、昨日会ったエステルさんたちも。早速徒歩で一通り回るつもりだったのかもしれないわね<笑>その二人だがどうやら大した経歴らしいぜ何でも去年起きたリベールの異変を解決するのにかなりの貢献をしたって話だリベールの異変ってあの王国中の動力が動かなくなったっていうおいおいマジかよそれが本当なら相当な実力者なのもうなずけますねまあこのクロスベルジャーお前たちより新米ではあるんだあっという間に追い抜かれて引き離されちまわないようせいぜい気張っておくんだな今回の件も長引かせたら間違いなくギルドが出張るだろうわかりましたそれじゃあみんな鉱山町の方に行くとしよう町の北口にあるバス停から出ているはずだ切らした備品があれば町で補充した方がいいわね念のため端末の方もチェックしておきましょうまあぼちぼち行くとするかねエステルジョシュア・ブライデイ They seem to have quite the history those two Remember if you don't work quickly the guild is bound to get involved And that doesn't sound appealing You'll just have to work hard Is he trying to encourage us? I can't quite tell. Alright, can I check here? Oh, we got new requests. Do we have anything? We got nothing to report. Okay. Alright, we're gonna look at these new quests. So, emergency requesting with inspecting the train bound for the Empire. I'll take all the help I can get. I'll be waiting inside Crossbell Station. Oh, it's open. I wonder if I should write this down. I don't think I need to write it down. Nah. <laughs> Alright. In my apartment complex, Mycin Imelda is crawling with monsters. I request aid from any capable exterminators. Please make haste to my antique shop in the back alley. A dangerous monster, Fall Eagle. Has been sighted in the side of Mines Mountain Path. We ask that the special support section deal with the threat swift. Items of note the monster specializes in binding attacks. Come prepared with eye drops. I see. So, we're probably gonna go to the station first. 
maybe that that quest will be easier. I wonder if they have anything new. You know Speaker Hardman? He's the leader of the Imperial faction and one of the most influential politicians in all of Crossbellion politics. Anyway, rumor has it that he's going to run for mayor for the next election cycle. And because of that, he's been trying to make connections in every circle you could think of. Some democracy, huh? I don't know what you're talking about, but that sounds pretty bad. <laughs> um, it looks like we don't need any of this stuff. Wow. Maybe, hmm. Maybe the next chapter we get some new stuff. Alright, maybe we could buy some orbal orbments, yeah. They say that Armora... Armorican veggies work wonders for your health. I've, I've heard it makes your skin as smooth as silk, too. Maybe I should try some. Alright, time to crank up the enthusiasm and give out some freaking balloons today. Central Square is usually ripe with tourists during the morning. I can't whistle. Drivers, please slow down. Your cooperation is necessary for the safety of everyone in Crossfell City. Hey everyone, starting today's work, be sure to watch out for horrible cars. Thanks for the heads up, Kate. Oh, that's a girl. Wow, it's so pretty outside. Make sure to watch out for cars, okay? To become a registered horrible driver, you have to complete the proper applications over at City Hall. Even so, there are so many bad drivers on the road. Minor car accidents are becoming more and more common now, sadly. In my opinion, the criteria to be given a license should be much more strict for public safety. I fe smell uh, a plot coming up. Talk about horrible cars. Arc and Ciel is easily Crossbell's pride and joy. They become so famous, foreign celebrities travel to Crossbell Incognito just to catch a show. Arius is out of is out of town, and now I am like totally bummed out. How exactly, I'm supposed to feast my eyes on an absolute meal of a man if he's not here. Oh my gosh! Oh, thirsty. I know Arius is like super popular bracer, but it stinks like he's not always gone for jobs. Our police force is as useful as an orbman without courts. I really wish he would stay in the city. Down her rent to make a lol us. <laughs> he dilf energy. Whoa. Here's that new type of pen light created by the Vern Company. Oh, as you can see, I worked on in a factory affiliated with the Vern Company. My colleagues were researching this actually. It looks like they finally made a finishing touches on it. I'm kind of proud of them. You'd be surprised how many tourists like to stop by Genton. <laughs> I could definitely relate. I guess since it stands out, you can't just help but stop by. Darn it, Wendy. How dare she go and embarrass me in front of customers like it was that yesterday? She better not be getting full of herself just because she knows a few things about ornaments. The manager was so mean to Wendy this morning, even though she completely saved his hide yesterday. Honestly, I don't appreciate the manager's ugly attitude one bit. Whoa, the crossbell guardian force placed an order for another armored car. Phew, their equipment is as top of the line as it can get. Maybe I could ask for one of their engineers. Well, they are the ones responsible for protecting the whole state. Makes sense they have some of the best gear. I don't know if I could recommend the CGF as a great place to work, though. But, I can think of another organization that can make good use of a pretty face like yours. Oh wow, thanks a bunch, Randy. I knew it. Someone like the R&D factory is much more suited for me, isn't it? <laughs> That's not what I... It would seem that you're now zero for two after your flop at St. Ursula, Randy. Oh no, he lost the nurse with the old lady and now he lost the girl in Genton. All right, let's, let's upgrade. Let's add some slots. Ooh, I got plenty of slots. All right, who needs some slots? We got four for Lloyd, four for Ellie, four for Zio, and four for Randy. Okay, I'm gonna add one for Lloyd. Oh, uh -huh. let's add this one. 
I'm gonna open this one. And this one. Oh boy, I hope I can open Randy's. I can? This one's already open, that's good. So let me open this one. And I don't think I can open any more slots. Alright, let's buy some quartz. Do I have any quartz I don't own? Is it blind? Oh, action. Action's pretty good. Which one's... I think Impede is able to give more skills. But speed's pretty good. I kind of want to get this one for um, healer. Get him action. Uh, I don't have enough for that. So there's EP and Mind. I already owned Mind. Uh, I already own Poison. I already own Mute. Is there a difference between the two? I guess Shield's cheaper. Seal. Oh, I do not have Seal, but I don't have enough to buy Seal. Uh, blind. Oh my gosh, I'm one off for the week! I already own Blind. Already own Eagle Eye, which is good. Uh, let's go to Orb Mint. It looks like I have a lot of. Ooh! Detailed information without analyzing. In action one, an impede one. Um, you're not gonna do a lot of attack skills, so I'm gonna give you impede. I'm gonna. Who has heal? Oh, you're the one with heal. Uh, I'll give you action. No, I don't think I'll give you information. I'll give you information. Oh, only water quartz. Yeah, you can have information. <laughs> I don't have any more quartz. Alright, let's go upstairs to see if there's anything up here. There is nothing up here. Uh, there's a department store. Let's go to the restaurant. Maybe they have something here. Stelta is always claiming that he's busy, but that doesn't stop him from sauntering out of the kitchen. He co uh, constantly insists on bringing out dishes to our female patrons. Honestly, what am I going to do with that boy? Ooh, all this yummy food. Oh, I got 5,000 lira? Yo. I'm not gonna use it on food. Maybe I could buy it on equipment. Oh, this is quite the interesting town. It's a mining village surrounded by a plethora of mountains up in the north. They've implemented a moderate degree of orbital tech there, so it's not quite as tropical as Emeroka. Nevertheless, it's far off the beaten path, so I hardly recommend it's a worthwhile destination for sightseeing. Our second floor seating is available by, res by reservation. If you book a table, you could even make custom orders in advance. We have quite a few regulars who bring their families along for meals. Do you like puppies? I like to look at puppies. I like to pet puppies, but I don't like to keep them as pets. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot of work to take care of a puppy. I'm more of a person that likes to take care of cats because um, you could still play with them, but you don't have to play with them all the time. And they're quite easy to take care of cats. So as a cat, I would like to take care of cats. I feel like, uh, as a guest, I probably prefer a dog. But at the same time, I don't, I don't pet dogs as much because they usually feel dirty and they lick all over my hand and stuff and I'm kind of like a clean freak. What would, which would you rather be? I, I kind of like cats more. Because they're they're pretty clean. They don't uh, lick your hand and stuff. Because every time when I get my hand licked, I go to wash my hands. I was like, no. <laughs> but um, cats tend to feel cleaner too when you pet them. Their their fur feels like a stuffed animal. It's like very soft and clean feeling. It doesn't feel greasy. 
and they um they just watch you <laughs> they are just fine just being in your presence i'll take i have an l take we came to sightsee but we're all done all we've done is eat it there's a restaurant well what the heck for now eat up for the competition well i have a puppy it is cute and fluffy oh my gosh my cat is really pushing on my charger right now <laughs> she is pushing it she is pushing this charger. I'm a little bit scared of her damaging the charger cord. It's okay. She got scared. <laughs> She's like, oh no. But cats. Yeah, cats are cute. I have like, how many cats are laying around me? I have three cats laying around me. <laughs> I used to like dogs more until I got a cat for myself because I used to have a fear of cats because I had a cat bite me when I tried to pet it. And then having a cat of my own, it liked me. It kind of respected me and stuff. And I learned how to take care of a cat and I absolutely love cats. They feel like a human being with you. A human being covering, covered in fur. You could like read their minds and they could read yours. They could precisely like tell you what it wants. <laughs> And they can be cuddly. They they um they like to lay with me and like sometimes they would sleep with me like a little person. I accidentally hugged my cat in my sleep and as a child because I thought it was my teddy bear, I screamed when it started moving. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, as long as it wasn't angry, that's fine. That's so funny that you accidentally hugged it and you realize it can move. I want both. Yeah, they're great. As long as they get along with each other, because I know cats are a little bit more picky. No need to tell me twice, coach. <laughs> Wait, that's a guy. G great going, me. Who expected something like this to happen on our honeymoon? Well, I just have to redeem myself somehow. Not turn turned around in the entertainment district last night when all of a sudden this dreamy young man appeared and showed me the way <sighs> his smile was burning to my mind it won't go away what happened <gasps> your woman's got stolen this woman got stolen she got all struck with this handsome looking guy and then his honeymoon's ruined because now she's thinking about this man Oh my, what a superb design. I suppose I shouldn't have expected anything less from you, Kendall. You flatter me, sir. So, what exactly was that other job you wanted to ask me about? Ah, uh, right. Of course, there was a project in the works involving the construction of a new hotel in the Imperial Capital. We would like to bring you on board to undertake this challenge. Oh, say no more. Your face says everything. Man's journey calls him to constantly seek out for new and exciting things. It is our duty to respond to that task. I accept your offer. Now they weren't angry, just startled. <laughs> your cat was just startled being hugged. Haha, I'm glad you agree. Oh, I guess that's all. I wonder what that agreement was about. I love that they don't care that you just stood there watching them talk. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, we're we're listening to them, like, talk about business stuff. And they were like, do you mind? Thank you for shopping at Time's department store today. Please t take care to not forget any belongings in the store. <sighs> oh, Scott. I wonder what you're doing right now. But pardon me. I shouldn't have been paying more attention to the counter. Welcome to Legion's Foods. We got some fresh, fresh, juicy Arabic tomatoes straight from Liberal. Hi, Sally! Would you like one? They're good for your health. You know what? Let me see. Um, ooh, this is for deluxe beef stew, which I have. So let me, uh, buy... I'll buy two. 
And this is for Happy Ham Sandwich. Let me buy two. Juicy steak. I'll buy two. I have ten? Okay, I don't need to buy them. Juicy steak, happy ham sandwich. Um probably buy more of these. Deluxe beef stew, I already got crying onion. Grilling carrot. Marbled steak. Okay. Nice, I can make some food. Let me see if I can make some food right now. Oh. There we go, recipe. Whoa, look at that juicy steak. Wait, have I made this before? Let me try to see if I can make some deluxe beef stew. I'm gonna make two. Yes. <gasps> I can choose to cook. Yes. Okay, who should cook? Let's see. You don't need food. You already have a... I'm making... Alright, Randy. I think you can make a mean beef stew. Ooh. Oh no, a thin stew. I mean, you did your best. Happy hand sandwich. Um. Okay, we could try making a juicy steak. Uh, let's make two. Uh, who could... I'm gonna try, um... Yeah, Louis? Yes, Elegant... Ooh, he made an elegant steak. He's a good cook! <gasps> he made the best one. Uh, happy ham sandwich. I don't think I need to make that. I guess I can only make those three recipes at the moment. I need to find one more recipe. Welcome. Please enjoy yourselves. <laughs> That's all he has to say. Alright. Uh, I just wanted to check this real quick. Oh! I already have that one. Look in face. Let's see what you have to say. I hear they started setting up this thing called the Orbo Network for all those large companies. Is it like the internet? I've already been asked a few times if they have any manuals. The Orbo Network's technology is in its infancy. I do not think you'll have to be able to find anything other than the research papers. Uh, I assume that would be the case. It's a shame that I couldn't help out with the poor customer, but I can't stock a book that doesn't even exist yet. I haven't seen Ark and Cell show. No one's surprised Mom forgot about the upcoming performance. She was too busy shopping. She's always here! No, come here. Tickets for Ark and Cell's newly anticipated production are going on sale soon. I'd love to get my hands on one, but they're really expensive. Also, I'm pretty sure they sold out instantly the last time they went on sale. I have no doubt people will be fighting over them this year, too. Crossbell State celebrates its birthday with a boisterous event known as the Anniversary Festival. Businesses all across the city face their busiest periods during that time. Do you have good, good shoes? No. <laughs> no good shoes. They just only raise it by two. Cynthia and Pearls always look like they're in sync. It almost feels like they can read each other's minds. Uh, I wonder if veterans operate a different wavelength or something. Where'd that ring go? Did someone buy it? Darn, I was here thinking it would be a perfect gift for my wife. Mines produces one of the most beautiful septium. Their rare quartz is a particular fetches of high price. I can't afford any of your stuff. <laughs> Welcome to Luca Boutique. <laughs> Business is booming, as per usual. Please look around as long as you like. You have nothing interesting to say. I see. <laughs> uh, we already talked to everyone here. So let's go to the next part of town. Any individual could check out 
three books at a time. That's the most that we could keep up with, unfortunately, given how understaffed we are. I think the locals would find it easier if they could borrow up to five books. Sorry about the long pause. There was someone that was coming by. <laughs> Alright, so I don't think I want to take out any books, but it's nice to talk to people here. Not many people know this, but there are still some intact ruins from the Middle Ages present in Crossbell. The most famous one is Ancient Battlefield, a fortress on the outskirts of the old Amaroka Road. A group of researchers formed an expedition team around 20 years ago to search them through the ruins. If I recall correctly, they excavated a giant bell sitting right in the middle of Central Square. I'm pretty sure they found it somewhere in the ancient battlefield. My parents suggested I look into becoming a public servant, so I obliged. Most people perceive public servants as unappreciated, unrewarded workers. But you know what? I work on a nice, quiet street for a man of respect and trust. That in itself is an adequate reward. Topic of audios, Crossbell's Cathedral is an architectural work is an absolute marvel. I hear it's home to the home of, of an exceptional priest and sisters too. Abby will be attending the Sunday school there next year, so I think it'll be all for a prayer sometime soon. What does the little boy say? Hey, guess what? I hear there's a big church called the Cathedral over that way. I want to go see it. City Hall. Next month marks 20 years since Crossbell State's founding. We plan to open a variety of attractions for during the festival. We've been publishing more details in the city newsletter, so keep out your eyes peeled. We have a newsletter? News to me. Yes, there are informational brochures right by the reception. It's a shame many people don't know about it, but we update it monthly nonetheless. Huh, I had no idea. Guess that makes that one of the many people. Wait, where? Where? Where's the brochures? Tell me! Where? Where's the brochures? Where's the brochures? I don't see any brochure. The Orville bus won't, wouldn't have broken down yesterday if it had been properly maintained. Things like this actually happen much more often than you think. Can I go in this? Or this? No? I guess not. This is blocked off? Why? New city hall under construction. Authorized personnel only. Wait. Alright, here. Good morning, everyone. One of the detectives from the First Division just left. Phew, those guys make me nervous. Eek. Sup, Fran? You're looking as cheery as ever. Hi, everyone. Thanks for asking, Randy. Zoe came for headquarters earlier and hung out with me for a bit. Apparently, she came by yesterday, but we missed each other. Oh, yeah. You said that you two were sisters. Sergeant Major Noel Seeker, was it? We were recently introduced to her. She seemed to be a very driven and professional person. Her personality is incredibly different from yours, Fran. <laughs> You've got that right. Cool and dignified, yet still as cute as a button. My sister can really do it all without even trying. I've admired her since we were little. <laughs> Sounds like you looked up to your sister quite a bit. I know the feeling. Raymond from 2nd Division is an interesting man. He likes to come over and chat with me every day before he starts work, no matter what. I could tell he was pushing his luck this morning. Inspector Donovan had to come here and drag him away. I'm surprised a beauty like Rebecca's got guys all over her. <laughs> Wrong way. Let's start by interviewing people at the hotel. We can follow that up by questioning nearby shops. More 
Canapassing? Seriously? Man, what a pain. The entertainment district is huge. Crying out loud, stop whining and get it together. Wait, I could buy something here? <gasps> I could? That's interesting. Buy stuff that heals CP. Can I go down the- No, I can't. Eventually, maybe? I don't know. Nobody here? We had several new recruits join our division this year. I hope they're all managing- Wait, you're- you... Oh, I- that's old. <laughs> I was like, like, you don't need- You don't need food, you already got a snack. That was for- what was that? That was when I was trying to cook. I hope they're all managing to keep pace. Even more peaceful divisions like ourselves can run into some big problems. Well, as long as they don't get discouraged, I'm sure they'll grow into their roles just fine. Alright. Pretty quick and easy. Now let's see, where am I going to set my sights on today? Hey Portia, you're drooling a little over there. It looks like tickets for Ark and Cell's new show is going on sale next week. <laughs> I'm just drooling thinking about getting my hands on them. Looks like only people with proper authorization are allowed inside right now. Let's refrain from entering and inviting. Those two are always here, bright and early to cheer on Ark and Cell. You know what that means, right? As soon as they need their midday snacks, I'm out here waiting with some tasty ice cream. I'm super grateful for their patronage. Oops. Ooh, ice cream. Why is this more expensive? It heals less. I guess just the buffs are really good. All right, let's go to the hotel. We will soon provide a means for guests to re reserve rooms via the Oracle Network. Please bear with us a little while longer until the service is set up. All the rooms on the top floor of our hotel are deluxe suites. While it's expensive to book, the first class service we offer is incomparable to what you would have get in a normal room. Whoa, look at that! Whoa! Look at that chair! I would love to sit on this chair. Yep, that's it. I heard that Arkansas will be announcing its newest production soon. I must brace myself for the impending flood of reservations. Oh, they are definitely gonna get lots of reservations in this hotel. It's gonna be crowded with people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked to staff there. The cops have been questioning a bunch of people these days. And a pair of detectives asked me all kinds of stuff earlier. Give me a break. I'm just a barker. I ain't gonna know anything crazy. Poor guy. Why should I have some fun today? Dealing with an absurd crowd is a staple in the entertainment district. You can't let the little things bother you. Hey there, wanna play? Thanks for coming to Barca Casino. Oh, Randy doesn't have anything to say? Hey, uh, could you lend me some Mira? I accidentally blew everything I had. I don't have enough to train fair home. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Sorry. It feels as though my uh, mind and body are enchanted when I visit Crossbell. The sweet bustling of the city puts me into a sort of a trance. I quite enjoy this feeling. The old battle axe snuck on on me right as I was heading into the casino this m morning. She started screeching at me like a like a harpy. I thought I would never hear the end of it. 
Ah, oh, that was a close call. I was just about to get dragged home by the caller. I welcome to Tabarka Casino, everyone. Our bar is always available to any weary patrons in need of a break. I'll be most delighted to offer you some alcoholic be beverages. I guess that's it. Uh, I think I already talked to this lady. And here's a residential district. Hopefully I can find someone that's going to give me a recipe. Oh! Oh, there they are! Oh, hi! I like to- Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this Randy's family? This boy has red hair and blue eyes just like Randy. I like to help out with the cooking. Randy? Explain yourself. You didn't ex tell me you were rich. I usually hold a cooking class on this day of the week, once a week. Well, I could call it a class, but it's really just an excuse to get the neighbors together to have a little bit of fun. In any case, I need to get all the prep work done first. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is this... I'm like checking their hair colors to see if they match. I think I'll be comparing hair colors. Okay, maybe not. I think his hair is a little bit too light compared to their their hair. But they both have like red hair and blue eyes. Would Sophia be his? They're a little darker. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I don't know if I'm like jumping into conclusions too much. Go like, I think I got this game in the bag. No, I don't know. I want to know why they have portraits. I have to go to Sophia's house for a cooking class now. Oh, she was just mentioning that. Hmm. We're going to learn how to make gratin full and fresh of seafood today. Yup, I think I got everything I need. Henri's been playing outside much more often these days. And to think she was just he was just a shy little boy before. Maybe he managed to find himself a good friend. We all take turns doing the chores around here. Darn it. I had plans to hang out with a friend from Erebonia today. Oh well. I'm definitely not going to push my luck to defy Granny. Yeah, Erebonia kids are cool. That's where all the cool kids are. Have you heard of Path of Exile? I have not. I have not heard of Path of Exile. I'm sorry, Striker. <laughs> Sunita started taking care of the cutest little kitten. Supposedly my husband has already been aware of the situation, but dear me, it was quite the shock. Yeah, Dom knows all the games. He knows every single game that's out there. Senator and her little kitten are just the two most adorable peas in a pod. I'm admittedly a little jealous. Yay! Marie's back! Or Mar- It's a Mari or Marie? I think it's Mari. This bracy bracer lady found her and brought her to me. Oh. Mary, Mary! Come play with me. No. Oh, there's a father. One of the bracers paid us a visit yesterday to ask if we could take in a stray kitten. I was obviously surprised, but apparently Sunita has been secretly taking care of it for a while now. I can't believe that silly little daughter of mine never mentioned it to us. Well, it looks like we have a new little member of the family now, thanks to that bracer. It had to be four or five days, five years ago now. A transport truck lost control on the main street and caused a serious accident. The truck exploded into a massive fireball. I had never seen something so horrific in my life. The explosion is so massive that bystanders were caught up in the blast radius. What is happening? What? Did I, um... Uh... 
Hey, hi. Magaser. Not this. Is it this button? Ah, there it is. Um, have I ever went that way before? Wait. Oh, I didn't mean to go this way. Uh oh. Tio, what happened? Maybe something was heard. Yes. I'm going to Access. Well, now I know where I need to go. Kaskani Dekido. Ah, Majur no Toboy Daro. Tioske and Kizukano Katara, Oretajimo Kikino Gastetana. Yahari Ima no Toboyva, Sando Homen Karakiko Tayodes, Hokoxeni Yonju Serju Kuraikato. Hokoxeni Yonju Serju Sando no Tochu Adari Nanoka. Tekotoa. その、エリー、ティオ、昨日に引き続いて、こんなことを言うのもなんだけど。うんうん、気にしないで。これも巡り合わせでしょ。私も大丈夫です。それに、今の遠吠え。どこか語りかけてくれ。威嚇してるとか、そんな感じか。い,いえ、もっとはっきりとした。意志みたいなものを感じてすみませんうまく言葉にできないみたいですそうかどのみち警備隊が動いたら逃げられてしまう可能性が高そうだ俺たちだけでなんとか見つけ出すしかないだろうな Have you won? Ah,、uh, we found、uh, the cause of why the, the wolves were getting in? So we found the entry point. Now we gotta find out who is controlling them. We wanna find out where they're coming from. And we already found out like how they got inside the hospital. So we blockaded off. But um so far we are winning. <laughs> I'm I accidentally went ahead too far in the story. I was like, oh wait, I wanted to do some side quests. I don't want to go ahead in story yet. So gambarimasha. And Henri are always so full of energy. I wonder if they'll let me play with them too. Oh, isn't he from the other town that was attacked by wolves? Hello, everyone. Hi, Mr. Hayworth. Are you in the middle of negotiations? Or was it that obvious? I'm honestly in Tally's debt. He's one of my best patrons. I'm here to wholesale some of the items in my inventory this time. Hey, that reminds me. Are you guys still on the hunt for those monsters? We are. We are unregrettably. We are regrettably unable to uncover the location yesterday. We were actually just about to scout over to mines. Sounds like you got your work cut out for you. Good luck, everyone. I truly appreciate all that you do for this community. Not at all. Thanks, all as always, Harold. If you also take a look at this, it's for next month's shipment. 10% more food stuff, I see. So then, you're hoping to get a discount, I imagine. <laughs> Not to worry. I'd gladly oblige. After all, you and Tellys are some of my pre most precious regulars. I would stop by to let me know about the new price for honey. I appreciate how willing he is to always go the extra mile, never missing a single detail. Maybe I should discuss my next shipment with, with him while he's still here. Lisa. Already got that one. I could buy some more scorching wine. Uh, I don't know. My deluxe beef stew could use some. Use some stuff. No, I think I'm good. 
Looks like nobody's home. Nobody is here in the top floor. Just be locked. It'll be unlocked in the future. Mr. Grimwald, you know last month's big case, the payment you got, doesn't line up with what we initially wrote down. Oh, that one? The client was in a bit of a pinch when I came when it came to financial security, so I gave him a discount. Huh? Again? Sir. We'll end up in the red if you keep doing that. You, you don't say. Sorry, Pete. I'll, cu I'll try to cut back on the discounts in the future. Say that. But you you're not going to change, sir. How could you be a lawyer with such an ignorant and be so ignorant about finances? Poor guy. Been so many times when you completely forgotten to collect your pays at all. I'm getting tired of it, to be frank. Has that really happened before? In that case, I deeply apologize, Pete. That was quite a blunder on my end. He seems like a good guy. I heard that the Guardian Force was mobilizing their troops, but why? Has there been turmoil at the border? Oddly enough, the news hasn't bothered to cover it. You know, Bennett's the boss's daughter, and boy does it show when you get a whiff of her bread. She's a heck of a baker, just like her pops. She taught me the ABCs of bread, bread making when I first began my apprenticeship. She's hard to approach, though. I get the impression she's always peed off. Oscar's one of the most gorgeous guys I've ever seen. He's like the whole meal! <laughs> And he's so much more than just his looks, too. He's a ray of pure sunshine. Never seems to let anything phase him. It almost feels like a waste for him to be stuck inside this bakery when the sky's the limit for him. Oh, don't get me wrong. He's still so super duper charming as a baker all the same. Oscar's as popular as ever with the ladies. <laughs> I finished baking today's bread. W would you like to try it? Give it to me! Please! Give it to me! I want to! I want the bread! Hey, I heard all about you guys gathered up some much-needed ingredients for us. Excellent! Thanks to them really lending us a hand. Now we can focus all our attention on baking. No problem. Don't hesitate to contact us when you need more help. We won't even break a sweat. That sounds promising. You all seem like a dependable bunch. Haha, <laughs> alright! I may just have to take you up on that on the future. Nice. Oh, hey, you're the SSS guys. <laughs> Sorry, but you were too slow. Huh? Too slow about what? Well, we found the kitten that was lost earlier, but this bracer girl was passing by it, happened to see what was going on, and solved it like it was nothing. She was this black haired guy. And there was this black hair guy, and they managed to find its owner in no time. <laughs> That's a bracer for you. I've never seen a girl that cool before. G could those bracers be? Estelle and Joshua. They managed to pull the rug out of from under our feet. to go to Sunday school tomorrow. Oh, what's the point of learning all that stuff when it's if I'm going to become a model? <laughs> she wants to be a model. I want Ryu to be the future successor of my business. I don't know what's going to happen though. The kid's fooling off around again today. He's not getting anywhere with his Sunday school studies either. Why do you sell me that boy? I finally met up with Cecil yesterday. She hasn't changed one bit. I think I actually got a little bit self-conscious meeting up with her after all this time. Oh, really? I'm glad to hear all that. Well, how'd it go? Did she find herself a nice man to settle down with? W what? I haven't the slightest clue. But to be honest, I don't know how I feel about the idea. 
Uh, that child of mine needs to start thinking about her future more carefully. Perhaps I'll look into finding her a, pros a prospective boy husband. Did she say a prospective husband? Heck yes! It's time to announce my cadet candidacy, baby! Don't you do have any funny ideas, Randy. <laughs> There's absolutely no way! Excuse me, Lloyd. Is it my imagination or has your voice gone hoarse? <laughs> oh no! Lloyd doesn't want his childhood best friend to get a boyfriend or a husband. Okay, I think I... Did I look at here? I don't remember. My husband bought a new portable Oracle stove the other day. He went seriously to spend a ton of money again. Doesn't he have anything better to do? I noticed our portable stove has rusted over when I was re rearranging some of the furniture. I ended up buying a new portable stove with identical measurements. I'm glad I was able to find something that was just the right size. Oh, hydrate. I will hydrate. Actually, I'm going to take a, a break and go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> I will have a BRB. Uh, what? Wait, what do I press again? I kind of forget. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> and then I could do like so. I'm back. Let me take off that big old BRB. I hope you guys have a nice snack and a drink with you. Oh, I was just right on the end of that. <laughs> Wait, we got so much EP. What? Alright. To get the cleaning done while my husband is out. Hmm. He's probably dining in Central Square over a business meeting right about now. Not only is he hard to please, but he's also never around due to work. I feel like since I went to the bathroom, I could talk more fluidly now. <laughs> the third floor tenant left really early this morning. I wonder who she is and what she does. I think it was the girl that was the actress, right? Wait, well, who is there? Did I talk to you? Did you know there are various types of manufacturers of Orbal cameras? If they happen to pique your interest, I would highly recommend the ZCF series. They, pre 
got a practical and easy to use design, so those babies are a solid choice for beginners and pros alike. Wait, there's a treasure chest. How will you get this treasure chest? Wait, can I go behind this? How, how, how do I get... Do you see this treasure chest? I saw it in my map and I was like, wait a minute. How do I get this? Eh, that's just taunting me down there. Is there a back room? No, there is no back room. And I also noticed there's a treasure chest down there, but that one's like a... Huh. Oh, I see it. I see how it opens. There's a, a little exit thing there. So I have to go into like the... the what is it? It's like the high resident district. Yeah. Hmm. this way. Okay, yeah, this is the, the main street. Uh, we have something here that we need to go to. Why don't people understand the irresistible charm of railways? You can't discuss Crossbell's history and its emphasis on trade without mentioning trains. When I tried to venture out onto the highway, a whole local stopped me. It said it was way too dangerous for me. Well, I guess I have to rely on the bus for sightseeing for now. They would be urged to step out on the open highway and explore aimlessly. All the skyscrapers can make a country boy like me claustrophobic. Wait, wait, wait. Cargo from the other countries arrives late for most of the time. If you don't deliver them quickly, my old man starts to lay it on me. I'm so tired. Wow, I can go inside here now. The station never fails to amaze me. Has it really already been a month since I stepped off that train? Wow. Time really flies, doesn't it? Now I believe that the station's inspection officer was the one who submitted this request, right? Yeah, let's go ask him about it. Thank you very much for your continual patronage. The station gets crowded after the trains arrive, so please, watch your step. Oh, excuse me. I was distracted by the Crossbell Times article I was reading. Are you here about Quattro's request? He's been waiting for you in front of his office. He's it's upstairs on the left. What do you sell? <gasps> A lunchbox? I'm kind of tempted. You know what? I'm not gonna be buying anything else, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's dancing on my tongue. Loads of people from the Empire Republic pour into the crossbell from the station each day to visit, and their mark definitely shows. Just look at our stores and architecture. With all that gone into shaping Crossbell City, you could say that it's the culture melting pot of Zamora. You know, I wonder what the city was like when it was founded. There's a certain elegance in leaving Erebonia by train. On one hand, my airship ride to Remiferia was quite a thrill as well. I suppose they both have their own unique charms, don't they? I'm more of an airship girl myself. Unfortunately, you won't find nearly as many flights as you get one to as you would will ride trains. So we airship girls make do. I'd love if there was an airliner between Erebonia and Crossbell flew more frequently. I heard that the hot spring works miracles for the hips, so I decided to venture over to Calvar to see for myself. I know those old hips of mine are looking forward to relaxing in the warm, soothing water. Grumble. Looks like we're behind schedule. Excuse me, but are you the inspection officer? We're here re regarding with your support request. Ah, oh, so you're the special support section then. About time. My name's Quattro. I'm here on the assignment from the Imperial Army to work as this station's inspection officer. If you don't mind, I'd like to cut to the chase. Will you accept my request? Of course. You can count on us, Quattro. Number four. 
Uh, could you tell, oh, talk us through the specifics? Very well. But then again, something wrong? Not necessarily. I just wasn't expecting to have to rely on such young people for assistance. Though, I suppose it's better than no one had shown up at all. The heck? We offer up our help in, our, in his hour of need and this stuck-up old geezer decides to talk down on us? You say something, Red? I would advise you pay no attention to him, to him in any mind. Just to clarify, he submitted a request asking for assistance from an inspection. That's correct. A train bound for Erebonia will be arriving any second now. I want your help in inspecting the interior of said train. And by expect inspection you mean... You'll be looking for any passengers or luggage considered too dangerous for Erebonian territory, correct? Precisely. I don't normally have to do this on my own, but I woke up to a torrent of sick leaves this morning. Why does the lady behind the counter really need to pee? Yeah, go girl, go pee! That's why I have an issue of a request for the outside help. That makes sense. Conducting an inspection like this alone would take way too long. Hi, Ixi! Glad you understand. That makes things easier. Erebonia bound passenger train will be soon arriving at platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board the train make their way to the platform. There it is now. Once we're on the platform, we'll delve into the specifics of the job. Now, follow me. This wasn't what I exactly had in mind since we got this request. I can't stand this dude's high and mighty attitude, but he's in a bind, so let's give him a hand. It's settled. Shall we head down to platform two? Now let's talk to you. We provide food and beverage services on our trains for your convenience. There's no better way to spend a long ride than feasting on incredible refreshments. I guess... She doesn't sell us anything? Oh yeah, I already talked to him. Thank you very much for your continued patronage, everyone. In addition to selling tickets, I'm also happy to walk you through to use them if you're having any trouble. Feel free to talk to me if you have any questions. Well, I mean, you're not going to sell me any tickets because it's not part of the tutorial, right? Oh, <gasps> I can open these. Oh. Oh, look how cool this is! That's so cool! Freight transports with the supplies in the CG CGF depart from here. I'm mom! What? We just finished sending off a train bound for Belgard Gate. Because us folks in the CGF can just provide security and call it a day, our lives aren't the easiest. Allow me to briefly explain the specifics, the task at hand. Please do, we're all ears. I will be assigning each of you a car to inspect. So you'll be speak to every passenger, inspect their luggage, and verify the validity of their entry application. If by chance you come across any passengers without an entry application, or who are in possession of dangerous goods, they are to be detained immediately. Okay, got it. I'm fine with the whole inspection thing. But what do we do if anyone's not in their seats during the clock check? I kind of get the feeling that a bunch of amateurs like this won't be able to cover everybody. Not to worry, we got that covered. Passengers are not permitted. Any water. <laughs> oh, it's eating cracker and some of it kind of choked me a little. Passengers are not permitted to move while in the cars during the duration of the inspection. It's a rule that's been, been in place because we will occasionally get crafty sorts trying to dodge the inspection by shuffling around. 
You certainly are strict. Alright, I think I get the idea now. Although I'm a little bit bothered that each person has to inspect their own car. Randy and I will definitely be fine on our own, but what about Ellie and Tio? Really? This is the moment you decide to be worrying about us? Might as well remind you that I'm a police officer as well. My hand-to-hand -hand skills are more than satisfactory. Likewise. Even if a suspect were to resort to violence, I find it difficult to imagine they would be able to overpower the both of us. Man, come on, Lloyd. You should have known by now that these gals aren't just some dainty, dainty damsels. Gotta get that through that thick, thick skull of yours. Fair point, sorry. With that said, are you all ready to commence the investigation? Inspection. Yes, understood. Ahem, good. You are ready. Very well. Further ado, let's begin the inspection. I'll inspect the first car, so please, divide the remaining cars amongst yourselves. In that case, I'll take the second car. Ellie, Tio, Randy, take the following three cars in that exact order. Roger. Understood. See you later, then. Let me remind you that this task will require your full attention. Oh man, is this like... An investigation? Alright, I've got a train to inspect. Wonder if you could get a wrong answer. Oh man, that's a lot of people. There sure are a lot of travelers here. Can't say I'm a surprise. I need to make sure to be polite without questioning each person. While questioning, okay. Oh, an inspector, you say? How am I supposed to buy that? Poof. I demand to see proof. Uh, I don't. What do I do? Wait, this should work. Take a look at this. Lloyd showed the passenger his detective notebook. I'm from the Crossbelt Police Department, Special Support Section. We're assisting with inspections today. Police? Guess that checks out. Though, doing this kind of misleading, well, whatever. Just get it over with. Thanks. <laughs> All your luggage and carry-ons look good and follow our regulations. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, skip the pleasantries. Just hurry this inspection up. Not cooperating, tase them! <laughs> I'm kind of in a rush. Y yeah, not too much longer. Pardon me, I'm the assistant inspector. I apologize for the inconvenience, but would you mind me checking your luggage and entry papers? Inspector? Not every day you get to see one in such a casual getup. Anyway, what's the issue? I find it strange that a woman is traveling alone, doesn't it? What? No, it's not. For your information, I want nothing more than to go with my boyfriend. But since he dumped me out of the blue, I had no choice but to come alone. But that won't stop me. I'm going to find myself a rich, noble boyfriend somewhere in the Empire. Uh, I didn't mean to trigger this story. Oh, well, nothing I can do about it. I'll just listen to her while I finish up the inspection. You get it, don't you? Wasn't that, like, so rude of him? Yeah, a real jerk. Um, by the way, your luggage and papers are all good and follow our regulations. Thank you for your cooperation. You- you okay? No, it's fine. It's just, it was refreshing spilling my heart out to you. I can't remember the last time someone listened to my problems. Say, if you want to, why don't we run away to Erebonia to get- S Sorry, I have a job to do. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm the assistant inspector. I apologize for the inconvenience, but would you mind checking your luggage for these entry papers? An inspector, are you? Hmm, very well. Hey, why haven't we left yet? Waiting is boring. <laughs> Sweet adios, will this child ever learn patience? Pardon my son. Ah, it's no big deal. Sorry, this is gonna be a little while longer. Can you be a good kid just for a little while while we finish up our job? Yes. With that settled, I should try to wrap this up quickly. Alright, your luggage and papers look good to go. Thank you for your cooperation. Good to hear. Mister, can you pinky promise me you'll hurry and let the train leave? Hey, you can't just... <sighs> what am I gonna do with you? Pardon me, I'm the assistant inspector. 
I apologize for the inconvenience, but would you mind me checking your luggage and entry papers? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Just one moment. Hee hee hee. Uh-oh. Um, are you okay? Ah, oh, it's nothing. It's just the deep green foliage of the Nox Forest is incredibly charming. Knowing that I couldn't help but feel a little giddy before departing. Uh, sounds like you have a nice hobby there. Oops, I accidentally wasted your time, didn't I? An inspection, was it? Oh, yes, that's right. If you excuse me. Alright, your luggage and papers look good to go. Thank you for your cooperation. No, no, thank you for your dedication. Haha, <laughs> anyway, I am looking forward to when I finally leave the station. You sus, sus. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm one of the assistant inspectors. I apologize for the inconvenience, but will you mind letting me check your luggage and entry papers? Ah, oh, an inspection, I suppose it's fine. What? No way! I have my panties in my luggage, you know? Hmm, good point. Sorry, but you have to hold her. You've heard the lady. No, hold on. You just can't refuse. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> Creepy, I taste. It's a regulation, so please work with me. I'll show the utmost consideration when inspecting your delegates. <laughs> so he says, Yeah, you better, mister. This is harder than it looks. All your luggage and carry ons look good and follow our regulations. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. No, no, scram! Ah, uh, that should be the last of the passengers. I didn't notice anything suspicious, so I should regroup with the others and report to Mr. Quattro. That was kind of nerve-wracking doing those inspections for the first time. I didn't overlook anyone, did I? Explore the rest of the train cars? No, you can't. Now sit still until the inspections end. Listen to your mother, son. You don't want to annoy the inspector. What? But that guy who was sitting over there he came from the car in front of ours. Why can't I go to all? Oh. The front train car? Could that be the one Mr. Quattro's inspecting? He might have had some business with the conductor. No, wait a second. Maybe he changed cars after the inspection began. Is there... Oh, looking forward to seeing the beautiful scenery during the ride. Can't we leave already? Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment? Oh, what's wrong? I thought the inspection already ended. It had, but there's something bothering me. With your permission, may I redo the inspection? Sure, I don't mind. Forget to check something? Here's my luggage and my entry papers. Oh no, I won't be in the one in conducting the inspection. I'm planning on asking the official inspector, Mr. Quattro, to do it. Qu quattro Why? Aren't you more than capable of doing a silly little inspection? So you do know him. But no, you see... Quattro laid down some ground rules before he began those inspections. Confiscate his nail clipper! <laughs> one, of the, one that stood out to me was, you may not move to another car during inspections. Of, of course I know that. Are you implying I broke that rule? Yes, I am. Hate to break it to you, but I have a witness. That rowdy boy sitting over there saw you entering the car up front. What? That's preposterous! That has to be some sort of mistake, right? I'm sure we can confirm the boy's statement if we ask the train conductor. The question still stands. Why won't you train why did you transfer cars? Um if things were according to plan, you would have been inspected by Mr. Quattro. But in spite of the rules, you snuck away on this train car. The only logical conclusion is that you didn't want Quattro to see you. Am I wrong? Uh, uh. I'm begging you, overlook this. I just wanted to have a fun little trip. Yeah, that's all it was. L look, you said my papers are good to go, didn't you? If that was the case, then it should be fine if Quattro double checks them, right? W what? No, please. I don't know all the details, but as long as I'm working the assistant 
assistant inspector, I can't ignore any suspicious behavior. I need you to come along with me. Fine. Imagine explaining this to a perp instead of smashing his head and killing- What? What is- Sending him to prison for 20 years? What is this? What does it have to do with the dog? This is clearly not American. It is not. This is uh, Cross Bell City Train. <laughs> This man has falsified his immigrant papers. Falsified? How so? You mean to say he lied about his personal history? Correct. He's a formal swindler from Calvar. This guy likes to bounce around. I had a run-in with him before and he tried to conceal his criminal record with the same application. This marks the second time I've caught him. Good grief. This man's a fool. A former swindler? If he's not swindling anymore, then what's he up to now? Now that his prison sentence to Calvoid is up, it looks like he's trying to lead an honest life. The frauds he committed were relatively small in scale, but apparently he wasn't given too heavy of a sentence. It's unfortunate though, a criminal record will follow someone for the rest of their lives. That's probably why he felt that he had to falsify his documents. If immigrant papers to show his criminal record, your ability to travel is heavily restricted. Hi Luke! only if I hadn't gone and committed fraud. I'm sure he regrets his crimes, but he chose his life when he broke the law. That reminds me, I've been addicted to police body cam videos on YouTube. Pretty interesting to watch. Oh! Committing crimes will burden you for the rest of your life, and the world will be a better place if more people understood that. So, what's going to happen to this man? I've detained him in his office for the time being. I've given him a stern warning and then ship him back to off to Calvard. It's nothing out of the ordinary for me. Yeah, I guess there's no other choice. At any rate, we success successfully completed our inspection without incident. We're a bit behind schedule, but we should be able to see this train safely now. Yeah, there's a surprising amount of videos on YouTube. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, there's also like, uh... I think they call them murder documentaries and stuff are very popular too. So I think it's like around like the same scale of like how popular in many videos they are. I believe we I owe a special support section to and a proper thank you, don't I? I'll be sure to give you a ring the next time I need help. Hold up. His life is forever ruined because he committed crimes, so he's forced to commit more crimes to live. This is America! What a punitive- This is in America! This is- Okay, so the laws here are very similar to Japan, but this place is called Crossbell. Oh my gosh, let me have a cracker. It seems like- my throat is very sore. Maybe I was talking too loud. Alright. It was our pleasure. We learned a lot of helping out with this request. Feel free to give us a call whenever you need help again. I think I'll take you up on that offer. Phew, that was a lot harder than I was anticipating. You could say that again. Although, Tio is probably the most exhausted among us. Why would you say that? People said thought she was some kind of mascot for the train station and kept smothering her. Uh, mascot? Are you okay, Tio? Don't tell me you've been traumatized that you can no longer speak. No, no. Not quite. I am simply experiencing some mental fatigue. I should recover in a bit. 
I'm just making fun of the extremely authoritarian policy that the country has. Super... Ah... Fate is good here? Horrifying, to be honest. I guess. I guess, like, the fact that he's going to be restricted for the rest of his life because of the crime he committed... Yes? Wait. What do you mean, Tess? Let me leave, please. Yeah, sure. I hope you aren't straining yourself too hard, Tio. We finished our quest, let's go! It looks like the inspection of the train departing for Erebonia is complete. I think about the time I head back to Belgar Gate. Can I go inside? I guess not. Well, look how long this train is. Hmm? It's still not to party? You know, the send off over with so I could send myself home off home already. Anyway, break's about over. Better get back to work, I guess. I sent two messages and it didn't send? Oh, I didn't see it! You said hello, Nui! Wait, didn't? I, I thought I read that one. I just want to ask how you were- Oh, it didn't send, it didn't send. Yeah, I didn't see about how- I didn't see the how you were. I only saw the hello movie, but that's it. Oh. Didn't see them in chat behind you. Oh, yeah, yeah. What you see up in chat is what I see. <laughs> yeah, they didn't send. Yeah. Ah, uh, Twitch. Wait, I didn't see these two guys before. Hey, are you the new guys from the CPD? Oh, yes we are. Hello there. Are you two coming back from a job? Sure are. We just came back from Erebonia. So, what kind Wait, 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 wait. I feel like he's important. I'm gonna check real quick. I'm gonna Google search... I'm gonna Google search it. I'm gonna look up... Trails of Cold Steel Wenzel. Oh, he, he does appear in Cold Steel. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I'm going to show it on my screen. Let me grab it real quick. He does appear in Cold Steel. Yeah, there he is. What? Pretty cool. Wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, never mind. I thought um he also appeared in Trails in the Sky. No, he didn't. So huh. I thought his name was familiar. Yeah, he appeared in Cold Steel. So what brings you four over here? Not much. Just working our way through a pile of support requests. You're helping Quattro with his inspections. That's so. I actually gave you guys a proper mission then. Good for you. Keep up the good work. Just make sure not to interfere with ours in the process. Are you going to go through the entire franchise? I am. I will be going through the entire thing. I see. They still place us far below them in terms of legitimacy. Well then, it's our mission to prove to them that we are the real deal. Have you had the chance to meet Estelle and Joshua yet? Those two are impressive, especially considering how young they are. Actually, aren't they around your age? Haha, <laughs> you'll probably compare them wherever you go. Gonna be a while, yeah, it's gonna take a while. I heard this game is a hundred hours. And I think I only... How many hours did I play this game? Let me see. Uh, here it is. System, save. Um, let me save my game real quick to see how, mu how much. 18 hours. We have a long way to go. <laughs> and I think it's even longer since I'm actually reading everybody what they say. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't... Wait, I didn't see you. The ticket I thought I lost has just fallen between the seats. Ew, that was a close one. No, I can enter crossbow without security getting on my case. Is that guy or girl? I can't tell. 
Whoa, what's this? Weird. Eh? I think that was the map. Yeah, it was. Ah, oh, yeah, I see the grid in the background moving. Okay. Now we have people here. Yeah, we already talked to these guys. Okay. And is there anything down here? Just checking real quick. Nothing down here. So we finished that quest. We could turn it in. Alright, let's let's see what the next request is. Abandoned apartment monster cleanup. Uh the, my apartment complex Mycin Imelda is crawling with monsters. I can't please make haste to my antique shop in the back alley. And this one is Okay, so fighting monster in the mines mountain path, we don't have to worry about this one for now. We want to work on this one first. So Let's go visit downtown. Um, forget how you. There we go. Uh, back alley. Oh, this is the back alley. Oh. Oh, there it is, Imelda. So you've come after all, special support section. Good morning, ma'am. You must be Imelda. Indeed, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen a few youngsters that come to help, eh? Let me get a good look at you. Imelda began to analyze each member from head to toe. W wow, is it just me or is her face massive? Lloyd, shush! But I will have to say, she certainly has quite the presence. Not to that it comes as a surprise, she's practically a crossbellian celebrity. Excuse me, Imelda. Your support request mentioned that the monsters are running loose in your apartment complex, right? And ain't it here in the city? That could turn ugly real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It certainly could. She does seem very good. She does not seem very concerned, does she? <sighs> that lady got a nerve of steel. So, kids, will you take care of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Shall we ta talk business then? Sure. Could you give us the details? You better give us a lot of money, miss. <laughs> you make so much money at your job, and I want to buy that necklace you got. <laughs> well, as soon as you know, I own quite a bit of land and property in the city. The apartment complex in question is called Mycin Imelda, named after yours truly. It's downtown district in a spot that's a bit tucked away. In the downtown district, huh? I'm sure it is a mess. Leaving a place like that unchecked? It's no wonder you ended up with a monster problem. Exactly right. Those pests never fail to crawl out of the woodwork the second your back's turned. If you don't tidy up the place, I doubt the property will last another week. All I ask is you to go in, track them down, and evict, saturate them. Simple as that. Yes, ma'am. It just sounds like another straightforward extermination for us. The situation could escalate if we leave them be. Let's make sure we are thorough. I suppose I could give you this too. Thank you, ma'am. Downtown district, then. We have unlocked the downtown district. Let's go! I mean, not downtown district, the, the area. Uh, I remember it was locked. I accidentally started talking to one of those black suit guys walking by just now. They glared at me with the, with the eyes of a devil. <sighs> those guys are just as scary as they seem. Uh, I'll talk to them. What kind of business do you have a bunch of cops like you have with us? Get the heck out of here already. Take one step closer and you're on private property. Got it? Oh, I guess I can't. I had a bracer come into the shop. Didn't say much, but he took one of the girls with him. I have a feeling she won't be coming back. What? I gave her advance on her paycheck, too. I need to cut us some slack. How am I supposed to make money back now? 
Hmm, word is that the group of Easterners, hey you, started laundering Mira through the city. Recently, they've been continuing to steal away from Ranji's sources of revenue as well. Given how things stand, it's only a matter of time before an all-out war breaks out between them. Last night, I was assigned to entertain some Republican faction bigwig. It's great and all that they're rich, but man, I'm beat. Maybe I'll recharge by soaking in Eric's beautiful, calm face. Eh? Wait, was that a treasure chest I just saw? How do you get this? There's no way. How do you get there? Is there a way to break that? Wait, there's so many treasure chests. What the heck? There's a treasure chest around here. And there's a treasure chest all the way back there. Oh, I see a door. But I can't go... I see. Ugh, my parents keep nagging at me to get a job. It's so annoying. I wish they would lay off and let me make my own decisions already. I don't need them to nag at me. I'll find a job when I decide to... I want to work. Daddy yelled at boy a lot today. Chew up, boy. I've been reading about the CGF in the Crossbell Times lately. Apparently their deputy commander is a woman. At least I assume so since her name's Sonia. I sometimes see the CGF vehicles around here. It makes me feel sort of camaraderie with her. Oh, no! I wanted to talk to that old man! Old man! Where are you? Where'd you go? What the heck? It disappeared. There you are. I've been running my own shop on East Street for a long time now. I'm truly indebted to the Business Owners Association chairman, too. He's done a lot to look over me with the past few years. Oh ho! Long-lasting bonds like this are some of life's greatest treasures. Oh! <gasps> I'm so happy. I'm so happy to get rid of me. I'm screaming. I'm screaming. Look at me. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm scared. I I'm blushing. <laughs> you guys from yesterday hey there's special support section uh hello Estelle and Joshua thank you for your assistance yesterday Estelle honey hmm what's up Michael oh never mind let's just get our back to our little meeting uh, okay well as you can see for yourselves this is just the kind of person Estelle is like I said, though, I'd like it if we could be friends and not letting disputes between our places of work come between us. Right, I'd like that as well. We look forward to working with you. Aww! Let me see if I can talk to you. What do you have to say? Anyhow, today I'll be working with you like hounds. You think this will be easy? You've got another thing coming, honey. Since Arius is busy with something outside Crossbell, I'm going to have you finish this in his stead. I'm confident you'll see it through. Thanks for the help, sweeties. You got it, you got it. We'll be heading towards Amaroka while we fulfill our request today. We're still not fully familiar with the area surrounding Crossbell City, so I figured this is a good opportunity to solve that. That's a great idea. I doubt you two have any trouble with the monsters out that way, but be safe regardless. Thanks, we will. You guys look pretty busy yourselves. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again. Catch you guys later. It's like no one else down there. That was such a pleasant surprise to see Joshua and Estelle. All right, is there anything here? Ah, uh, the Akia Apartments. Sara and I went down to talk to Ozzy over at the downtown district. I wonder if she'll be okay. What the heck is this? Eh, that thing's creepy. What is that? Can I talk to it? That thing looks like it'll summon a demon. Sarina asked me if I could look after Eitu for the day. 
I know she went downtown to search for her little brother, but still. The law doesn't mean much there, so I'm worried. He's here, huh? The price of Septian mined in mines has begun to slightly decline. The stock will most likely affect my company's marketplace. I better investigate the cause. Uh, which one's the fishing place? There it is. Have you heard the news, Lloyd? Our guild managed to reel in another member yesterday. Oh, really? Good to hear. Yeah, this gal's quite the ink. Oh, it's Estelle. <laughs> Estelle loves fishing. This gal's quite the angler. Might as well already be as good as me. Her name's Estelle. I knew it. And she's a famous bracer. Maybe you've seen her in a magazine somewhere before? I got invited to go fishing with her once. She's a real pro, I'll tell you that much. All that bracer work must have really sharpened her reflexes. <laughs> a formidable challenger has suddenly appeared before you, eh, Lloyd? She really was one before this little revelation. Are you kidding me? She fishes too? Estelle doesn't have any bricks on her at all, does she? I mean, she worked hard to where she is. She didn't starve like that when she was out of the womb. Depending on... On the kind of bait you use, you'll hook on different kinds of fish. If you're having trouble reeling in the fish you want, try switching your bait. It's just a simple game of trial and error. Yeah. Wait, do I need a check rank? Alright, I can't do that yet. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. My back has been killing me since this morning. So I asked some of my merchant friends if they would pick up the groceries for me. I guess my husband's connections come in handy occasionally, wouldn't you say? That's good. Do you know a vegetable seller named Dines? He runs a stall at the marketplace. I've helped him out a few times before, so now he stops by to check up on me occasionally. I see that he's still an honest merchant I know and respect. I hope all our young merchants can be just as successful. Look who's decided to stop by again. Did you bring me some of more fresh fish? You guys managed to fish these up yourselves? They look in pretty good condition. I could probably sell these. Hmm, how about it? Wanna, wanna let me take those fish off your hands? Remember, fish indigenous to Crossbell are popular, so I'll give you a nice reward if you bring me some. Yes, please, I will give you some of my fish. Oh! <gasps> Rock eater. Wait, can I only sell one at a time? Oh wait, no, it's how many I have them. Okay, I see. A giant pile of dirty laundry to wash when I get home. Having a large family can be painful at times. The chairman of the Business Owners Association greeted me in the middle of the street this morning. It made me happy, but gosh, it was a bit embarrassing. Didn't think he would actually remember me. Okay, let's do this. I better bring some of my hefty sales today. I don't see anything I could use. Hi there! Welcome to Dines Fresh. Our owner can sometimes be a little too nice, but it could go to show how much he has in our customer's best interest in mind. If the veggies you need, then it's Dines Fresh indeed. Oh yeah, I have Sunday school today. I have to finish up shopping so I can head over there. So I just had myself a teensy little accident. I was trying to move this chest and ended up stubbing my toe pretty hard on the staircase. I think I might have a hurt of crunch. Oh no, you gotta get that checked. But that's fine. 
It's gonna take more than that to put me out of commission. I'm worried for you, man. Everybody's pretty nice, but it does lower my speed. Nice weather we're having, eh? I think I'm gonna head East Street and pick up some leftover grub at the market. I almost had a bit of a close call with those delinquents earlier. Oh, this is why I hate lawless neighborhoods. The real question is, why are they lying in wait in front of the apartment? What's happening? I'm so sleepy. I tried my hardest to stay awake and wait for Daddy to come home yesterday. But I fell asleep as soon as he gave me a great big hug. I didn't get to talk to him much. Oh, my dear Lima. It's being so unreasonable. I absolutely have to take an afternoon nap. I'm completely spent. Not before I finish doing the laundry, though. Mm, poor thing. Doors shut, shut tight. A voice can be heard inside. Uh, I'm awake now. This is the worst. Boots. I need to summon more boots. There's some more. Aww. He is locked in there. My, it's those boys in the tracksuits. I often see them around these parts, but I wonder what's brought them out here this time. I haven't seen that chick around. <laughs> the guy who wants the horrible motorboat titties guy. He's here. <laughs> I haven't seen that chick around here late today. Darn, I just thought I would go and talk to her. Guess not, huh? You know, she is always talking about her practice. <laughs> What's the heck she practicing for anyway? I wish I knew who they talking about. So we put the normal bullets over here and the explosives over here. Hmm, maybe I should put them all in the big case. That way they'll all be a little easier to see. What you think? I... I don't think I know where to even start. Th those are extremely dangerous, Jingo. Maybe you should leave them alone? How are the customers going to know if to buy if it isn't up in display? Hmm? Man, that's gonna be pretty hard to get. So I just need an evade one? Maybe I could afford that. Oh, but I need three evade ones? I don't think I can get that. What's the other? Terror bomb. Ah, so close. Almost enough tear bombs. Hey, you redhead. You look like you know your way around a gun. Have you ever been in the military? Huh? Well, I did spend some time in the CG CGS. But the Guardian Force isn't officially classified as the military, so I wouldn't call myself a soldier. I'm tall redhead. It looks like he's fought through some real battles. Hmm. Can I help you or something? No, don't worry about it. Sorry to bug ya. Uh, just give me a heads up if you need anything. Sure. What was that all about? More hints about Randy! The vipers are hanging around the plaza again. I get sick of looking at them. They become quite egotistical. Someone ought to put those hooligans in their place. My sister came to visit me. W what should I do? What do you think you're doing, Hazel? Did you ever stop to think about how worried Ego and I were? I have no intention of prying into our members' personal lives. We'll leave it up to the members' judgment to decide if they want to stay. Ah. ah, party's over. Time to get down to work. Oh! Work? What do you mean? Huh, wouldn't you like to know? It's a secret. Stop up 
have some Mira, and I might be willing to tell you some more. Can I? Maybe I'll go ahead and close up bar for the day. I wanted to spend Mira to know. By the way, you don't think Azul's gonna quit, do you? I'm surprised Azul's sister came here. She's surprisingly bold. Azul really cares for his sister. I imagine he's a little guilty considering he's a troublemaker. I mean, not as bad as the Vipers, right? Oh, there's another treasure chest down there. How do you get that? I'm hungry. I wonder if any if anybody left food sitting around. Oh crap. Come on, Gabruzi. We gotta hide. <laughs> you think they're gonna fight again? I get down there. Oh! Oh! What? I didn't know there was a pathway there. I can't even move. I can't move the screen, so I can't even see. What, what does the flower pumps do? Let me see. Okay, so those are for the girls. It only raises it a little, but it's better than nothing. Old Roberts and I have been pals ever since we worked together in the Foundation. <sighs> 20 years and that nut job hasn't changed one bit. Hello there, Tio. How's the analyzer functioning? Would you like to me to collaborate it for you? That is unnecessary, Chief. I can perform the collaboration more efficiently. Uh, well, I suppose that's true, but... <sighs> oh, hey there. Check this out. Isn't this street so freaking clean? Yeah, that's pretty clean. Sup, man? Nice job out there. Wait, it's just you guys. Man, stop confusing me like that. What's up with the slash and wave? They're totally out of steam these days. Guess that calls for more training. Can't have anyone out of shape, can we? Oh, come on, Jed. Can we save that for later? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah! Get ready for a killer new song! Yo, Cookie. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Sorry for making you guys worry. Think you said you were going down to the hospital tomorrow, yeah? Better not do anything dumb before you recover, you hear? Y you got it, boss! Hey, go buy something for me. You're sending me on an errand already? I mean, yes, sir. I'll be right back. Is Dino ready for guard duty? I gotta go to the hospital tomorrow. I sure hope that the doc can patch me up quick so I can go back home. Is there anyone up here? Nope. Man, it's pretty empty down here. Alright, I think this is our... Where was supposed to go? Currently unmanaged. This seems to be the apartment Melda was talking about. It certainly looks unmanaged, and it's covered in dust too. Shall we enter the premises? Yeah, hold on a sec. I'll unlock the door. Okay, we're clear, so let's go in. Stay on guard, everyone. There may be monsters roaming around. Alright, let's kick some butt and take some names. All right, we made it in. We don't know what lies ahead, so be careful. Man, get a load of all this dust piled up in here. Not to mention this place is freaking huge. Seems like some kind of place you'd find monsters. Indeed, we've been running a monkey in here. Our request explicitly stated that our job was to exterminate, so we have to take it all out of the monsters in here. Stay sharp, everyone.
Oh, there they are. <gasps> Seven! Look at that, that's a... Is that a raccoon? I'm a little scared. To run it. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, my gosh. That boy is fast. That's a fast boy. Wait, is that a treasure chest I saw? Oh, yeah. It's on the other side. He's aggressive. Oh. Okay, hopefully I can kill this thing. Um, I don't know the level. Shouldn't I be able to use uh, the art to do that? Oh, I have blue drop. Nice! Soul Flare. It's D. So, let me try out. Wait, that means I have access to time skills now. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! I'm not restricted to four elements. Alright, let me try some... Earth. Its weakness is Earth. It doesn't show any of the other... Let's see. Level 14. Oh, I hope we could kill it. Heat wave. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Stone spike. We're all doing some earth skills. Oh man, it missed! Alright, let's try your analyze. Its weakness is fire. Heat wave. Oh, that's a waste. Oh, yes. Look at all this sepid. Oh, I forgot to chop. The chest joins your party. Its movement is zero, however, so it will move. Wait, right here. Wait, I wish I could read with the other one. Second. I have to read it. It's this one, right? It's my hide and seek. You hide something valuable in me, and mm, go seek therapy with your kleptomania. <laughs> It's calling me a kleptopedia because I keep stealing stuff. Okay, so we know that those little fly things are uh, weak to earth, so I could do that. Weak to wind. And earth! You're the only one with wind. Hi. Yes. Yes. We already went in here. What's this? Guessing you could break through that, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a hole. Alright, so earth skills it is. Well, it looks like Ellie's not going to be able to do any more skills. Oh, long barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mauda appears to have left a voice recorder in the chest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take 
接近注意してくださいエーサテッドエニグマ駆動 That's amazing! <laughs> Okay, she has no more skills, so only thing left is doing crap. <gasps> Wait, I just realized I could just vibrate. What am I doing? Ooh, that's a big chunky one. Alright, looks like there's nothing else here, but good to get the experience. I think we should be all set here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that went all we went all through the ruins. But just to be safe, let's do a quick loop around to make sure we didn't miss anything before we head out. Roger that. Sound plan. Hey, you punks. The heck are you doing running around like your own place? Oh? Huh? Here to explain the bunch of cops that aren't doing so close to Agnes's turf? Oh, it's just you. I guess this apartment building is pretty close to your base, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha. What's up with him? <laughs> Get a load of you guys. You're acting like a bunch of dust bunnies. Oh, I suppose you're right. We couldn't help it. We've been fighting monsters in a dusty den. Monsters, eh? We like to make nests out of abandoned buildings around here. Nothing new to me. Infestations like this are common? Yeah, I figured this wasn't the safest area to be living in. Huh, all that ruckus and you still haven't finished the job yet. W wait, what are you talking about? I've gone all over the rooms already. It just occurred to me. There is a strong chance that monsters have bred inside of here. Truth be told, there was something I sensed all along. It should be located quite deep inside the apartment. I see. You figuring it out just now? This is why you're a bunch of trash tier cops. Okay, sir, I thought you were cool. Why don't you drag your butts back to the city and patrol something a little safer? <laughs> Not trash tier. Wait, where are you going? Hold on a minute. What do you think you were? Figured you saw the uh, blocked off area up in the very end to the left. I saw a bunch of uh, boxes over there, so I saw a boarded up walkway, and I'm like, that might be important. <laughs> See, heading to that nest of Teo taught talked about, and he called her a Teo Tot. Given to how he's like, I presume he went to eliminate the monsters making noise on his turf. You think he'll be fine on his own? Maud might be freakishly strong, but it's too dangerous to handle by himself. Hey, Ellie, Tio, sorry, but can I leave you two to watch the entrance? Based on his history, I don't want him handling this with too much finesse. We may end up being startled monsters making a break for it. Understood. We'll stay on guard. Will you two be going in to get walled out? Yeah. We're just going to check on him. Probably the safest bet. Should probably get a move on, Lloyd. Don't want to be late to the show. Right. Oh god, please, 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 someone knows how to heal. Thank god. Someone knows how to heal, and it's Lloyd. Uh oh. That sounds good. He screwed up. They're probably not gonna like that. Um. Yeah! Oh my gosh, you can kill it. Uh. 
Bets on him getting wrecked immediately. <laughs> oh, nice, they leveled. Yes. <gasps> Encourage. Okay, I'm gonna see what Encourage does. Uh, large area. Encourages allies raising morale, gives strength plus 25%. That sounds really good. There it is. A wooden crate. Looks like this thing was blocking off the rooms deep in the and deeper inside. Well, it's not gonna be in the way anymore, so let's get going. Oh, it's deep. It's Oh, there's so many. You don't have any wing skills. Salamander. Yes. That's it. Alright, this one is fire. I don't have fire skills. Oh my AoE scrolls, we're on the girls! Hey. Oh, that wasn't good enough. Oh, uh, yeah. Do another line. Okay, maybe do normal attacks now. Oh,おととい来やがれってな。爆を取られた。気をつけろ。分かった。Let's do a prank her. Oh, missed. I don't see anything like that. That's a walled off window. In Okay, so I guess there's nothing else in here that I need to interact with. Oh, 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 oh! I saw Chinese chess! <laughs> huh? Okay. No fire skills. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like, um, oh, he's stuck. No, he's frozen. I guess the only thing to do is move. I don't want to waste items. Here we go. Sprinters. You know, I used to contain a bottle of Grand Chardonnay. I wonder what become of it. Last I heard, it ended up in Liberal. Ah! It sounds like it came from the room up ahead. Darn it! He's having a heck of a time in there, doesn't it? This is exactly why I didn't want him to rush in there alone. Cover me, Randy. You got it. Oh, that's a monster chest. Yeah. 
I should uh, use my orbman to heal. You check the chest and find this text box. It was a very well written text box. I assure you, very well written. <laughs> wow, look what I got as text box. Uh, let me see if I could pour some more art skills. Oh god. Oh, don't push yourself. This game is so sassy. I love I love this game. We're here to help you, man. Oh god. All right, I hope he's able to protect himself. All right, let's um. Let's do it. Okay, its weakness is fire. No, it's earth. It's earth. Oh, we should try to take care of the small ones first. Oh God, that's. There we go. You, you take care of this. I'm gonna take care of the little underlings. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to do another encourage soon. Oh, nice! He's coming closer. Oh, uh, let's try a crack. Oh, oh, it's not gonna hit him. Okay. Uh. Oh no, that's not good. Oh wait, this is alright. I thought that was a boss I was doing that. Did <laughs> we run out of friendly creatures? No. Never good. I think I ran out of... Um... It's normal attack time. <gasps> Randy! Alright, I'll... You can take care of this. Just no more attack to... God, he's gonna run out. Okay, um, your bomb, this guy. Sorry about that. Ah. Okay, I'm back. Ooh. Phew, those things were actually pretty tough. Yeah, it really shows how much we rely on Tio and Ellie's support, doesn't it? We had to use an item. But more importantly, are you okay, Wald? Hmm. What the heck? Did I ask you, you dumb butts, to interrupt my fight? <laughs> 
You think I'm some kind of weakling, huh? Do you really want to pick a fight with us here? Well, not that any of us are expecting a lot of gratitude for coming from this guy. Are you all too okay? We hear a horribly loud noise from outside. Do we even look, bro? Yeah, we're good. Did manage to bail a certain goon out of a tight spot, though. Excuse me, Red. You're asking me to get your to get your skull cracked open. One moment, please. I no longer detect the presence of any monsters. That's what I thought. Yeah, it does seem a little quieter, doesn't it? But it's because we took out the head honcho out of this place. Huh, how pathetic. So this is how it all ends, huh? W what do you mean, Wald? You punks managed to ruin my fun. Gotta head back to the base to have a date with a bottle of booze. <laughs> oh, and don't get it into your head that you just ran around downtown district doing whatever you please. This is our turn. And if so if you've done your job, then get the heck out of here. Find a better way to hide his embarrassment. Man, this guy never gonna change, is he? Well, I guess there's nothing we can do about it. Anyway, let's get to manage out to clear this monster, so let's head back to Imelda and give her the good news. After you. Oh, so you managed after all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, your special, special support section kids proved to be more capable than I thought. You were clumsy, but I bet that was had to be done. Bravo indeed. Thanks, I guess. Hold the phone. For many monsters you had nested there, you must have been neglecting the place for years. Indeed. You must have invested more effort into management. You could have wished to keep your property safe. But on the bright side, you're free to start renting out rooms. If people wanted to move in, I doubt you have to call pest control again. I suppose you're right. But I was thinking about how much longer I should wait until I open my Cindy Melda's doors. How much longer? What do you mean? You see, dear, downtown rent is dirt cheap. So I was merely binding, biding my time waiting for the land value to go up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to real estate matters, you ought to trust my judgment. I'm Imelda, one of the top land-owning titans in all of Crossbell, after all. That run-down apartment complex is just the tip of the iceberg. I manage scores of properties in the city that'll flop. The market is right. That I'll flip. D do you mean to say you're one of those major real estate tycoons? Wait, is this place just their side business? Madame Imelda is a famous name in Crossbellian high society. I heard she's incredibly wealthy. Yeah, you should pay us a lot for your... Uh... Mission, your request. <laughs> Darn, really? I could tell she wasn't your ordinary old biddy. One of the downstairs managing all these properties is the monsters that cropped up if you leave any of the unintended for too long. Hmm? You know what? Go ahead and hold on to my Cinemelda's key for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have time, you'll be a dear. Give it a good scrubbing. As cunning as always. We get back to work. The longer we're here, the more headache out coming in. Yes, I love to. Wow, nice. I'll let you hang on to my apartment key for the time being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have the time, be a dear and give it a good scrubbing. Gotta get used to it. There has to be a way in there. <laughs> there has to. Alright. Um. So we could turn in this quest. Or I could find out where the thing is. So the last quest asks us to go to the mains road. Pretty easy enough. <laughs> So yeah, this is our last request. I think this is a good place to stop because uh, this is a, gonna be along the way of the main story. And we could go do some main story for the next time we start um, stream. So yeah, thank you so much for coming today. And uh, 
Yeah, that, I, I have no other words to say. Wow. Wow. Alright, let's look for someone to raid. Can raid. Oh, codename is playing Hollow Cure. I want to do that. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys.